Welcome to Baton Rouge on the last weekend of summer, but with football very <laughs> much in the air. If you're an LSU Tiger, a home game means a walk down Victory Hill to the cheers of the adoring fans in anticipation of another football Saturday in Death Valley. If you're an Auburn Tiger, you arrive here at LSU undefeated, but a bit shaken after two uneven early season performances. It's Tiger versus Tiger on a showdown Saturday in the SEC. season this afternoon from Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge it's the Tigers against the Tigers this is a newly enlarged arena now listed capacity is a hundred and two thousand built predominantly with purple and gold with a splash of blue and orange representing the Tigers of Auburn Hi once again everybody, Vern Lundquist along with Gary Danielson. This is the second weekend of SEC competition and this is one of four games on this second weekend. This one has about it a component of early season critical. Let's talk about the quarterbacks. First of all, the spotlight on Jeremy Johnson of Auburn. You know Vern, I, I hate to be real critical of Jeremy because Jeremy needs help. Auburn is a running team but when they throw, Jeremy was counted on to bring more than he has so far in this year. He started off a big shaky with his decision making in the passing game. And when he's made those mistakes, it's been big for Auburn. But this finish last week, I think is going to be big for Jeremy. Look for him today to join the running attack for Auburn. I think they have to have him if they're going to be successful. Well, Brandon Harris, the sophomore quarterback for LSU, gets his first start ever in this facility. And he's got weapons all over the field. He's got receivers begging for the football. He's got plenty of talent, but he's got to get comfortable in the job. So far, LSU has been managing him in their first game against Mississippi State. But today, I look for Cam Cameron to let him go early, spread the field out, and perhaps even give a dose of that running quarterback that Auburn struggled with. Auburn needs a running game. LSU's got one. They sure do. I think everybody in the country would like to have this guy. Uh, maybe the premier running back in college football. I predict that he gets at least 25 carries in this football game. And if Auburn can't start him from getting going, it's going to be a long day. Well, on this early September afternoon, it is hot and it is humid right now at 92 degrees. And Ali LaForce is right down there in the heat. Burn the local weather forecast might say 92 degrees, but I have a thermometer down here on field level and it's telling me that it feels more like 115 degrees. This thermometer is almost maxed out. In fact, we had the local CBS affiliate meteorologist tell me that this is the second hottest game to ever be played in Death Valley. One LSU player just told me that he can feel the heat from the turf coming through his fleet. It poses serious safety issues for both teams. They started taking precaution last night. LSU gave its players heat guard pills, basically a modern day version of a salt pill. They doubled the fluids. They put extra fans behind the benches and they're using ice towels throughout the game. It's also a safety issue for all of the fans here. They were given paper fans as they walked into the stadium, but I saw one fan grab a hot dog box and just use that as a fan. They're grabbing anything they possibly can. We'll let you know how it affects the game as the game continues. Well, next time you see us, I'll guarantee you the coats will be loosely. <laughs> hey, a tempo could be part of this game. If Gus Malzahn could get the tempo going, the heat could be a factor. Kickoff with Tigers against Tigers. SEC football on CBS. Last time Auburn won here, 1999.
The Home Depot SEC on CBS is sponsored by Taco Bell. AT&T. Wheels Up. And by Chick-fil-A. If the Dodge brothers walked into a dealership today, they'd be pretty impressed with what's become of their Maverick car company. With all the power, performance, and ingenuity. But knowing them, they'd insist on serving the donuts. Get yours before their history. AT&T presents the strongest of the strong. <clears throat> Only the strongest get to watch the college football playoff at my place. Now I'm gonna put you through various feats of strength. You'll be painting your faces, making sandwiches, and washing my cars. Danny? What does washing your cars have to do with college football? You're out. Only the strong survive, gentlemen. Who's strong enough to watch the college football playoff with Bo? Get stronger with AT&T, the network with the nation's strongest 4G LTE signal. Hey, what do you think that sign says? Eat more ch. What is ch? Well, it's the start of a word. Something like eat more cheese or eat more chili. Chocolate, eat more chocolate. No, no, it's chowder. Chimichangas. Cheesecake. Chewing gum. It could be chewing gum. not how you spell chicken. I'm pretty sure. Half lemonade, half ice cream. Frosted lemonade, starting at 240 calories. Welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and a showdown between Auburn and LSU. It's another football Saturday in the SEC. Versus Tigers, the SEC on CBS, the best game from the best conference. And a moment ago, first on the field in Death Valley, the LSU Tigers ranked 13th. Their first game was canceled against McSnee State. They won last week at Mississippi State. The Auburn Tigers are 2-0. But shaky wins both on the road or in Atlanta against Louisville and last week at home against Jacksonville State in overtime and moments ago our Allie the force with LSU head coach Les Miles. Coach Death Valley is not kind to anyone especially Auburn who you who have you've defeated seven consecutive times here at home. What does your team need to do to make that eight. Play like Tigers. Do the things that we came to do. Just relax, you know, play to the emotion of the day. Brandon Harris made his very first career start against Auburn last year. It ended in a 41-7 loss. Now he gets a chance at revenge. Why will it be different this time around? Yeah, revenge is not what we're after. We're, we're talking about playing our game and doing the things that we come to do and, and relaxing Brandon Harris and saying, hey, just, just execute the play that we call. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Allie, thank you. Auburn won the toss. They have deferred the option to the second half. That means they will kick off. LSU will return 50th all-time meeting. Daniel Carlson will kick off. He's put 9 of 11 this year into the end zone for touchbacks. Dante Jackson, number one, is the deep man. He takes it, and he takes a knee. And now the Chick-fil-A starting lineups. We cue the cow and introduce you to Brandon Harris. Extremely gifted athlete. He believes he's ready. More importantly, his team believes he's going to break out at any second. I expect they're going to let him throw early before the game mounts up with pressure. Allie mentioned he had a disastrous game in his one start 
at Auburn last year, three of 14 for 58 yards, and 52 of those yards came on one completion. Fournette is the deep back in the eye. Breaks into the secondary, watch out. Now he's got a one-man convoy. One guy has the angle, and he does bring him down. It was Jonathan Jones who cut him off. Nevertheless, a 71-yard gain. So much for the passing game. Ha! One cut back, and he's gone. One missed tackle from the secondary. And I'm shocked he didn't get in the end zone. Might he here? No, he will not. He is uh, up and over the top and stopped short. Well, plaudits to Jonathan Jones, who never Absolutely. I thought one cut back and he was going to walk in. Yeah. Now Auburn making some defensive changes. Will Muschamp. In his second tour of duty as the defensive coordinator, there's Jones, save six at least for now. Well, this must, well must have knew if he didn't stop the tailback, he had no chance in this game. John David Moore is the fullback. He leads the way to the right side. And here's Fournette. He did not get in. Stuffed up well by that Auburn defense, made piles out of the last two plays. No movement. Leading tackler then was Casanova McKenzie, who's off a terrific game. He had 13 tackles at home last week in the opener. And now John David Moore is out. They go with the second running back. This is Daryl Williams. And he will be the blocker in front of Fournette. Seem, seems odd. Will he be it a does. carrier or a receiver? Play action, option pitch. No. Harris in for touchdown. He faked the throw to Fournette and then took the option himself and LSU was on the board. Well, Auburn has struggled with the running quarterback in both football games, but they did well with first and second down. And this wasn't a walk in well defended, but just too much pressure, too many ways to run the ball or run the option. And uh, well, that's an early dagger to this prideful Auburn defense. Trey Domain was three of three for extra points last week. He and Della Husey, Kobe, the uh, field goal kickers in a spirited contest. And there's a chance we might see Domain kicking field goals. Yes. You know, Vern, Auburn loaded the box. They had their safety up there by alignment. That was one of those plays that a lot of teams check out of. LSU does not allow the defense to dictate their plays. If they want to run the ball, they're going to run the ball. Are you okay, Mom? Yes, I am. You can never go too far for the ones you love. Help them go further with the protection of life insurance from New York Life. Get started today. FanDuel has definitely changed my Sundays. It's made it a lot more interesting. FanDuel's one-week fantasy football leagues are paying $75 million a week with immediate cash payouts and no commitment. I've deposited a total of $35 on FanDuel and won over $2 million. Just choose a league, pick your team, and get your cash winnings after Monday night. It's like the best adrenaline rush ever. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to $200. Go to FanDuel.com and enter promo code OPEN. Scott Danshaw was never afraid of a good dare, or even a double dare. We have three more dares for you. Mild Chipotle, Hot Habanero, and Fiery Ghost Pepper. Taco Bell's new $1 Daredevil Loaded Grillers. This is the Ford F-150, the only pickup with a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body bolted to a high-strength steel frame. It's also a wake-up call for every full-size pickup in its class. No body rust, most towing. Best payload, highest gas mileage. Yeah, it's a whole new day. Because in the truck game, it's either the aluminum age or the stone age. cock a doodle doo pal. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. Boss, can you hear me? 
He's crashing. Time to dance, Agent Gibbs. John Cryer comes to NCIS season premiere CBS this Tuesday. Back at LSU and time to take a look at our Home Depot tools for success, Gary. Well, for a successful play, you got to have a little bit of everything. Watch William Clatt right here help his tackle and then get to the second level. But watch the umpire get another key block on Jonathan Ford. Double block by Clapp, and then the umpire takes out Jonathan Ford. So Brent Soul gets one block, William Clapp gets two blocks, and Leonard Fournette gets a big game. That's kind of an unfair advantage. Well, that's one of the reasons the NFL has put that guy behind the line of scrimmage, just for that reason. That is a pretty good tool for success. Here's the kickoff. Jonathan Ford will take a knee. And Auburn. Well, Jonathan Ford during the week uh, was asked about Leonard Fournette and Gary. Yeah, he said, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. First play of the game. Now, you know all week that this is what they've talked about. Jonathan Ford trying to get his team ready, leading tackler from a year ago. He knew he had to come up and fill that lane. Now he ran to the umpire. That was part of it. But that's a big play. Just an easy dive play to really put seven points on the board. Auburn first down 10. Jeremy Johnson, three touchdowns, five interceptions in the first two games. Out of the gun. Jet sweep coming left to Carlo Lewis. And he doesn't get much. Time now for the Chick-fil-A starting quarterback. And let's talk with Jerry uh, about Jeremy Johnson. How do they get Jeremy Johnson involved in this game? Remember, it's been running quarterbacks for Auburn that has produced big yardage against LSU. In past games and so far early in this year, LSU in the past has had trouble with running quarterbacks. Peyton Barber is the starter. He comes left. He's not a speedster, but he really gives them an effort. And he's got a first down out to the 36. Braden Smith led the way around. Offensively, it's Coleman, Kozan, Golson. Avery Young was hurt last week in the win over Jacksonville State, but he is back. Quick flip back to the right side. This is Ricardo Lewis. And he is tackled as he gets to the 38 yard line. Defensively, for the LSU Tigers, Neil Godshow, Lockatour, Bauer, Kendall Beckwith. Off to a good start. And Jamal Adams, they rave about his ability. Number 33. Second down at eight. Quick flip this side. And it's taken by Carrion Johnson. You know, it's pretty hot. We teed it up, Vern. You said the second hottest game of the year. And what does Les Miles come out in? His jacket. He's the only one with long sleeves besides me and you for the open in this stadium. Is he trying to do a reverse Woody Hayes? You know, Woody used to do the short sleeves in the 40 degree weather. Les is trying to go the opposite. It's not hot if I'm wearing a jacket. Blitz from the corner. Johnson reads the hot man. He's got to carry on Johnson. He dives after the contact. And that is an Auburn first down. Well, you can see one wrinkle already that Auburn is going to try to employ in this game. They're looking for some big plays. And they're trying to find other players to get the ball to. And carry on Johnson, a true freshman who's finally healthy, is another guy they're trying to get big plays. I mean, this Auburn offense only has four plays of plus 20 for the season. That used to be a staple for them. Yes, it was. Here's the pick, Johnson, and a great defensive penetration. Good play by Jamal Adams. We just highlighted him in the intros of the defensive unit. Well, Jamal Adams is a special player. Everybody who's watched him play know that. Out at practice Thursday, Vern, it was basically a walkthrough. And I must have heard Jamal Adams say 25 times, let's get it going, let's pick it up, let's pick it up. He is so intense. Part Barber is now back in. Oh, oh man. Man, that's a lateral. It slipped there, a fumble, really, not a lateral. No. It went right out of his hands. Oh, and he, had, he had Jason Smith wide open over the middle of the field, but he 
just in the high humidity he just let it go. Wow. Well, he's lucky he got it back. Yes, it was. Usually, if you're getting any kind of pass rush, that's a turnover amount. Remember against Louisville in third and long, Gus Malzahn was upset with himself, putting Jeremy in a bad position to make a mistake in this situation. So let's see what the play calling is here. He needs to protect his quarterback early in this game. That was a loss of 18. It's third and 29. Yep. Johnson keeps it. They keep it conservative. And he gets positive yard. He's out near the 36 yard line. Tredavious White, number 18, a celebrated number for LSU. One player chosen each year to wear that number. It's a tradition that started with Matt Mock down in 2003. Kevin Phillips is on to punt. Tredavious White, who wears number 18, he's the the seventh player to wear that since Mark and the other previous 18s all vote on who gets the honor in which year. Kevin Phillips number 91. Here's the punt. Fair catch. White comes up, lets it bounce, and it takes uh, an Auburn roll. 43 yard punt, nothing on the return. Well, you could say, I guess, without any contradiction, it's the eye of the tiger. <laughs>
You've got a change at left guard, Mai Tahuma, a true freshman, Posick, the center, and Vidal Alexander. We had a chance to chat with him, and what an impressive young man is number 74. Yeah. Said he was offered a scholarship as a freshman at Buford Georgia High School by Nick Saban. But his folks were from Louisiana. So it was all in for LSU, right? Yeah. Williams is the tailback now. Good toss. Well, they like this guy, too. I mean, he's not going to plant Fournette, but defensively for Auburn, they're missing a key man up front. Carl Lawson did not make the trip. He's only played one half this year, got injured in Louisville. Montrevious Adams has played well in their Absolutely. first two games. MVP so far. Yeah. And down Blake Countess, who takes the place of the injured Jeremiah Holsey. Holsey tore an ACL last week. Whoa. Raven Durrell. Does that count as a pass? I don't know. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> Basically a jet sweep coming across, trying to get your playmakers on this team. Catch it bad. Oh, God, it was bad snap is the reason from Posick that time. Very, very fortunate. Remember, if that ball is dropped there, that would have been called an incomplete pass. So right. Not as dangerous as it has appeared. Third down. <laughs> And one. Out of the spread. Fournette is in the Wildcat. Will grab it and run this way. Boom. Is the, oh, he's down. First down at the 47, 48 yard line. Let's give it. I will say this. A, a year ago, this LSU team at Auburn was 0 for 13 on third down in that football game. Of course, you know, going into Auburn with an inexperienced quarterback, a, a good Auburn football team, they just were not ready for what they found in that game. Two for two so far in this game. Controlling third down, Will told me yesterday we can't to win third down. So far, he said two things. Got to stop Fournette. And we've got to control third down. Neither one so far to start the game. Three wides to the left. Hand off right side. This is Daryl Williams. Well, Lawson is the most significant injury for Auburn, but he is not the only one that is missing. Josh Holsey out last year, out for the shoulder. Trey Matthews had that shoulder injury in game one. Thomas Robinson, Avery Young, they're all suited up today. But boy, did they miss the guy up front. Oh, yeah, he's a difference maker. He makes everybody else up there better on their pass rush. But that's not the main problem, obviously, so far in this game. The main problem is getting it into a pass rush situation for Auburn right now. Quick flip, left side. This one is caught by Darius Geis, a true freshman. Scramble for the ball. He appears to have moved the chain. And there's a bridge injured player down. That's Devontae Lambert, the defensive end for the Auburn Tigers. Yeah, completely away from the play, too, on the right side over here. It, you know what was one of those run pass plays, Vern, where the line is blocking a run play and the quarterback has the option of throwing it out there. So over here, Lambert is second. I'm taking on a play, a running play, and you mean to tell me I did all this and got hurt and it wasn't even a running play? Modern football. Those are RPOs, run pass options, and the quarterback has the ability to give it to the wide receiver or whatever. Well, he is walking off unaided, and I'm wondering now if he's not singing soprano. Looks like that might have been the injury. <laughs> gotcha. I understand it. I'm sure most of our <laughs> listeners do. First down at the 40. Toss again. Here comes the sweep. Traven Durrell. He's got great speed if he can get loose. But he doesn't this time. Nice pursuit led by Tim Urban, number 22. Fournette is back in. Now here comes John David Moore, the fullback, number 44. 7 0. First quarter, 4.30 to go in the opening 
quarter of play. Fournette, five for 82, 71 of those on his first carry of the ball game. Second down. Harris handoff for net. About three. Never miss a moment of college football with the CBS Sports app. Every play, every story, and every highlight right as they happen. Download the CBS Sports app now. Well, here we go probably for the first play. Now let's see what Cam Cameron has got dialed up for Brandon Harris, okay? Just, even though Harris has started off the game successfully four for four, he hasn't completed a pass beyond the line of scrimmage yet. So now we've got a passing situation. Will they get a pass rush or will they throw the ball down the field? Well, they've got four down and it appears they are not coming. There's a twist defensively. Harris, he's got the ability to do this and he is loose and out of bounds near the 10. Blake Countess finally got there. Well, Will loves to chase those crossing routes with his linebackers. Two Auburn players chase one crossing route, and that's the breakdown in the defense. That's a miscommunication in that Auburn secondary. One of the things talking to Will yesterday, Bernie said, when talking to my players after the last two games, they all said that this is the most defensive packages we've had. They asked him to cut it down, but they still make a mental mistake there. 27 yard gain on the run. Here's the toss. Interesting they toss. Here's the Daryl Williams run inside the five and down at the two and a half yard line. One of the few teams that still do this a toss with the quarterback and still an inside power play. The quarterback actually has a blocking assignment after he tosses the ball. Second down and goal. Backs in the eye. Here's the toss again. This is Williams right side just short. There's a flag in the end zone. Yeah, too many men on the field for Auburn. They got a taste of their own medicine. It's very difficult to substitute when a team is inside that 10 yard line. If a team goes hurry up you can't get that last guy off the field. Matt Leffer is our there are two referee fouls on the play. Offside on the defense, number nine. That penalty is declined. Substitution infraction on the defense. That penalty accepted half the distance. Replay, second half. Yeah, Javier Mitchell, number 16, was the guy they were trying to get off the field. Mitchell finds out he's not in the attack thing, tries to run, but the ball is snapped before he gets to the sideline and pick up an easy, well, at least another down attempt at it. The yards isn't as big as the down attempt. Second down goal. Now uh, the jacket clash. Yeah. Yeah. Les Miles is out LSU. on the field. I wonder if Kathy has told him this morning, Les, it's 93 degrees out here. He wore one last year at Florida. I remember the same situation. Who knows? One of these kids just might be the one to clean the oceans, start a movement, or lead a country. It may not be obvious yet, but one of these kids is going to change the world. We just need to make sure she has what she needs. Welcome to Windows 10. The future starts now for all of us. deserves a better tomorrow for those we love and who count on us. Transamerica can help protect the important things in life so you can focus on the things that matter most. Transamerica. Transform tomorrow. 
Introducing our 2015 NFL lineup. Get your favorite team's Bud Light can for game day. This Monday, CBS presents a different kind of comedy told in four stories that all come together in the end. Life in Pieces, CBS This Monday. Single header action, the NFL tomorrow on CBS. League game early. San Diego at Cincinnati and uh, Baltimore and Oakland, Miami at Jacksonville. They begin at 4.05. The whole day begins with the NFL today. JB and the gang presented by Southwest Airlines. That begins at 12 noon Eastern time. The home of Super Bowl 5-0. Let's check in quickly with Ali LaForce. I have an injury update on Devontae Lambert. When he first came over and sat on the bench, he could barely lift his left arm up. It's clearly a left shoulder injury, but he's made so much progress. He went over to the training table, took the pads off. He can now lift his left arm straight up in the air. They're putting an arm brace on him and going to get those pads back on. <laughs> well, there was apparently a misdiagnosis from the press box. <laughs> Dr. The Lundquist nature. calling yeah. Dr. Lundquist. <laughs> Usually Dr. that's me. That's why I'm laughing. Right there. Well, Dr. Andrews is down there. He's a little more qualified than I. And there's the <laughs> run on uh, second down. Brandon Harris. Verizon red zone stats. 100% three times, three touchdowns so far. Presented by Verizon. Third down and goal. Interesting if less what's less thinking you know, the Mad Hat or if he doesn't make this will he go for it on fourth down. Play action Harris he's got a man in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Colin Jeter the second string tight end. Number 81. Young man who started his academic career at the Air Force Academy. Family illness forced him home. Played in junior college for a year at Kilgore, and he's in his first year here. Well, that's something uh, LSU fans do not see a lot of. In 2013, one touchdown pass to the tight end. Last year, Vern, none. So they're ahead of the pace. Huh. Domain with the extra point, it is up, and it is good. <laughs> Lengthy drive, the highlight of which was Brandon Harris's 27. Uh, one yard. of the staples of goal line offense is the play action pass with the delay tight end. Carlton Davis, number 18, true freshman, is the guy who just peeked inside a bit too much. And then Harris, Cam Cameron, and LSU produces a great 13 play drive. 14 nothing. Tigers lead Tigers. Take a look at these barbecue trophies. Best cracked pepper sauce. Most ribs eaten while calf roping. <laughs> yep, greatness deserves recognition. You got any trophies, cowboy? Uh, yeah, well, uh, well, there's this one. Best insurance mobile app. Yeah, two years in a row. Well, I'll be. Does that thing just follow you around? Like a little puppy. The award-winning Geico app. Download it today. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. Get a designer look for less. Right now, hand-scraped Saratoga Hickory Laminate is just 99 cents per square foot. At the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. every day our original chicken sandwich a pill will make him a genius and the fbi will make him their smartest weapon we're gonna figure out who did it limitless premier cbs this tuesday
14 0, the LSU Tigers leading the Auburn Tigers. They've dominated here in the first quarter a four play drive, the highlight of which was a 71 yard four net run and a 13 play drive of 78 yards, the highlight of which was a 27 yard Brandon Harris run. Trent Domingue will kick off number 14. Carry on Johnson, number 21, is one of the two deep men. He will get the kick and he will take a knee. Only two more days until the biggest premiere in the universe. You won't want to miss the first new episode of the season, The Big Bang Theory, on its new night, Monday at 8, 7 Central, right here on CBS. Gus Malzahn has to find some help for his defense right here with his offense. Last week, Jacksonville State ran 89 plays to Auburn's 70 plays. It's starting to look like that could happen again, and they don't have the bodies in this heat to withstand that. They need to produce a drive now. Jeremy Johnson in the gun. Peyton Barber is the running back. He gets the handoff, tries to spin out of the tackle, but he can't. That's Kevin Tolliver. He's a true freshman out of Jacksonville, Florida, number two, and another of the highly regarded first-year players for LSU. You know what's surprising on this team is Duke Williams, a go-to tough stop in college football right here in the slot. He's just been no factor. Only two touches last week. Johnson looks to the left and misfires. Yep. Yep. When you don't have the playmakers in the backfield and they don't have the speed they've had before, then you've got to find it in some other area. Yes, the quarterback's got to help. you got to hit that one. But you got to find players to help out this offense. Auburn feasted on big plays the last two years. This year, no. Third and 11. LSU, are they going to blitz? They're going to bring 5 6. Johnson out of the backfield, has got a man at the 31 yard line. That's Stanton Truard, a redshirt freshman. That is his first catch of the season, and it's enough to move the chain. It's an interesting call by Kevin Steele. I mean, this is a great. Rush, uh, excuse me, it's a great rushing front, four man front. But in that situation on long yardage with a struggling quarterback, he kind of made it easy by giving him a man to man read and an easy throw. Good pickup on the block, on the blitz, and they move the chains. Kevin Steele. The civil authorities have issued a child abduction emergency for all of Louisiana beginning at 4.10 p.m. and ending at 9.10 p.m. WQUE. The Louisiana State Police has issued an Amber Alert on behalf of the Ascension Parish Sheriff. S. Office for two-year-old, Denham Bureau, who is believed to have been abducted, along with his grandmother, Mary Jones. Denham Bureau and Mary Jones were last seen at 38,466 Highway 42 inches Prairieville, Ascension Parish. Law enforcement believes they were abducted in the early morning hours of Saturday, September 19th by Troy Jones. Troy Jones may be driving a blue 2016 Hyundai Land for bearing Louisiana license plates EDC 995. Denham Bureau is believed to be in imminent danger and is described as a black male child with short black hair, brown eyes, approximately 2, 6, tall and weighing 39 pounds. He wears glasses. He was last seen wearing a white t-shirt and diaper. Mary Jones is 54 years old and is a black female with black hair, brown eyes, approximately 5, 8, tall and 210 pounds. Troy Jones is a 48-year-old black male with black hair and brown eyes. He is approximately 5, 11, tall and 210 pounds. Anyone with information on this abducted child case is urged to immediately call the Ascension Parish Sheriff. S. Office at 2, 2, 5, 6, 2, 1, 4, 6, 3, 6. Crime is at 225 to 344 stop or 911.
take all the games with me. I sing with the four tunesmen. Can't our lady sing this song, do da, do Don't be like this, me. Get NFL Sunday ticket only on DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Tom Selleck stars in Blue Bloods. Season premiere CBS this Friday. Tuesday, an eyewitness investigation. A government agency was formed to keep offshore disasters like this from happening again. So why are they trusting oil companies to report violations instead of looking into the issues themselves? Tuesday at 10 on Channel 4. More than 80,000 people work in the hospitality industry, demonstrating that the Crescent City is the most welcoming city in the world. And that's another reason why we choose Louisiana. Laura Bachtel on Channel 4's Eyewitness News. This is the game we like to call Follow the Leader. With best fuel economy, best towing, best torque, best payload, and with more people driving Ram trucks than ever before, we've built quite the following. Get a great deal on the best trucks during Ram Truck Month. Now purchase and get 9,500 in total values on 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x2 models in stock the longest. John Young, Lieutenant Governor. As the father of five sons, I want a better and brighter future for Louisiana. To get there, we must act boldly and decisively. As your Lieutenant Governor, I'll create new jobs by aggressively promoting tourism in every corner of our state. I'll use my experience as a prosecutor to work with law enforcement to reduce crime and keep our families and visitors safe. Together, we can, we must, and we will build a stronger Louisiana. What makes a perfect tailgate? Well, first, you need friends. A lot of friends. Something to eat, something to drink, games to play. Oh, yeah. Did we mention something to eat? A bit of shade, a place to sit, a bunch of pride, a bunch. Easy, fellas. You need some of this, some of that, and a little. Put it together and you've got the perfect tailgate, courtesy of Academy Sports and Outdoors. Catch the I Am The Tigers post-game special today after the game on Channel 4. We welcome you back to Tiger Stadium, Baton Rouge. New capacity, 102,000. And look at this temperature on the field. It's lit. My gosh. Yeah, and, and the far side stands. I mean, you're staring. That sun is beating on you. And the far side bench. Bench. Yes. And will remain in the sun for most of the game. First down and 10, Auburn. Jeremy Johnson has a man coming in motion. That's carry on Johnson, but illegal procedure against the Tigers. Well, we welcome you back to Tiger Stadium. 14 0 at this point. Obviously, Auburn is reeling a little bit. But they've got something positive going here. Plays. They need plays, and they keep the needed balanced on offense. The offense has to come, okay? But on defense, it's been the big plays. You talked about it. One big play from Farnett, one big play from Harris. I mean, that'll destroy a football team. You're playing good defense, and all of a sudden, they put over 100 yards on you in two plays. On first down, 15, Johnson. Center is Austin Golson. Quick flip, near side. Chandler Cox. Boom. Incomplete. Yeah, Ouch. Chan Chandler Cox is one of those two freshman fullbacks that really Boston has really worried about trying to find the rhythm of this team. He goes, you know, yes, Jeremy needs to play better, but we're very young at that fullback position was so important to this offense getting experience there. Cox, a true freshman, just found out what it was like to get hit in an SEC football game. And that tackle was made uh, for the contact by Jamal Adams, number 33, second time. We've mentioned his name. Timeout is called by LSU. Hey, Pete, check yeah. this out. Come here, little doggy. Sit. Oh. Sit. You train your little doggy? Yeah, but he's not doing any of his stuff. Shake. Oh, maybe he's grumpy, you know? Oh. I mean, it is lunchtime, so. Oh, right, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime, <laughs> yeah. Must be it. 
Little doggy. It's okay. Does it taste good though? A little dog with a yeah. big bite. Little doggies starting in $1.29. And don't forget half price slushes every day at happy hour. This is how you Sonic. Spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. Compare new and used cars your way. We'll let you know when we find the perfect car with everything you need. Life happens one car search at a time. Auto Trader. AT&T presents the strongest of the strong. Okay, guys, let's see who can write the strongest tweet to show your school pride. Go. I have people who tweet for me. Excellent tweet, Roderick. Thank you, sir. Hit me with the smell good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strong assistant. <coughs> Who's strong enough to watch the college football playoff with Bo? Get stronger with AT&T, the network with the nation's strongest 4G LTE signal. You got a truck for a reason, remember? The Firestone Destination AT. Long link, carbon reinforced to conquer any terrain and any truck stuff. Whatever you drive, drive on the Firestone. Your weekend starts here with an intense rivalry. Washington collides with the New York Giants. Thursday Night Football on CBS and NFL Network. Adam Zucker with his Heisman watch presented by Nissan. Oklahoma's had quarterbacks put up big numbers before, but not like this. Baker Mayfield, a school record 572 total yards today and six touchdowns, including two on the ground. 52 to 38 over Tulsa. Deshaun Watson, a winner Thursday night. Derrick Henry looks to bust through Ole Miss tonight in Tuscaloosa as Alabama looks for revenge. Vernon Gary, back to you. All right, Adam, I thought in that Tennessee loss at home to Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield yeah, had out. a sensational game. Cut it that out, started out slow and came yep. out in that second half. That yep. No doubt. Now, uh, LSU used a timeout in a long yardage situation here. I think it was well worth it because LSU had the dreaded 4-3-5 <laughs> defense. The 4-3-5. Vern, help me out there. <laughs> Oh, well, this is not A&M, but it's their own version of the 12th man. <laughs> Second down. Peyton Barber is the running back. Going deep. Double coverage intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. No. Yes, no, he, he dropped it. There, now, it's going to be reviewed. Okay. okay. He did drop the ball. Now, whether he came through with the catch, very interesting. Inside jump ball, catches it, one, two, three, starts to turn and make a football move. Yes, the knee, the, the yeah. elbow hit the ground. They ruled it a catch on the field, and that'll be an interception. That's the sixth interception thrown by Jeremy Johnson yep. in two and a half games. Nobody's counting except for everybody. Yeah, that's right. That's I used to look at Well, you I even talked to Malzahn yesterday about how many were Four throws or four right. decisions. He said, "I got to help him out, but you know, this is a tough league, and uh, you know, nobody feels sorry for you, especially after you just whipped up on this team a year ago." Play action. Brandon Harris in uh -oh. the trail uh -oh. coverage. Uh -oh. oh, he laid his tight end yeah, out. Colin Jeter. Poor decision there. Yes, indeed. Three men defending, and Jeter is down. You have to blink forward, and Blake Countess, number 24, was out in front of the receiver. It's called looking where you're going to throw it, not where the receiver is. Stop it right there, guys. Where he's at, that looks good, but count has come from the other side. You got to see the whole field when you're throwing, especially those crossing routes. In the middle, Jeter looks open, but the other side of the field, you're leading them right into the traffic. Jeter is still down. He's the first year player out of Texas who uh, has the one touchdown catch in this game. We'll continue after this message and a word from your local station. Catch the Hawaii 5 season premiere, CBS this Friday, 9, 8 central. The Tundra TRD Pro powered Team Toyota to victory in the world's most grueling race in Baja. But why should they have all the fun? Available 381 horsepower V8 and the latest technology, it also powers your winning weekends. Qualified buyers get zero for 60 plus 1500 special edition cash on every purchase of a special edition Tundra for a total savings over 4700. Toyota, let's go places. 
The biggest rivals in sports have at least one thing in common, Turbis tumblers. They love that they're guaranteed for life, kind of like Team Allegiance. And even when the fans lose their cool, their drinks don't. So we paired them up to see if they share anything else. And it turns out they do, even if they never admit it. Hey. Hey. Did you take a look at him today? We got him up on the screen right now. Oh, no. So cute. You think they're comfortable? Uh, I bumped it down. It's getting dark. Can we turn on the lamp? Yep. Hey, is the pen open? Oh, check the other camera. That's bad. Keep an eye on your home when you're not home. Get Cox Home Life for as low as $29.99 a month and ask how to get up to a $200 prepaid card. Karen Swenson travels to D.C. for the Papal Visit, Tuesday at 10. We're back. Colin Jeter was able to walk out without assistance. He's uh, getting some medical attention on the bench. Vern, there's always clues. Two safeties for Brandon Harris and nobody over the slot. That's going to tell you the defense is a zone. So when you get the crossing route right here, you got to look where your receiver's going. For example, as the receiver Jeter starts to go across, look who's sitting right here looking across the field. That's what Cam Cameron's going to go to, to say to Brandon Harris. Brandon, you got a good arm, you got talent, but you got to read your keys. Ball comes near side. This is Gary Williams out near the 35 yard line. It'll be third down. One of the good parts of that play was the way Blake Countess took the tackle, though. The new rule effect, remember, he was targeted a week ago out of the game. So he didn't go for the head, he went for the midsection on the tackle. So now, the wind knocked out of him, but he doesn't get a concussion. You got it. And uh, just to update you, that, that targeting incident and the ejection occurred in the first half. That is the reason he is allowed to play in this game. He did need not sit out, set out the second half of last week's game. Here's Harris keeping it. Coming near side. Good and, defense. Uh, Good defense. Yes, it was. Trey Matthews and Tim Urban. And we've got a little conversation going on now between. Is that Chris Frost? I think it is, number 17. Well, the seniors on this defense Chris Frost, Casanova McKenzie, Jonathan Ford. You know, even Matrivius Adams, who's a junior, the veterans need to help this team find their footing in this game. Well, the Australian connection, as you look at the replay, continues now for LSU. Brad Wing was the first Aussie to punt here. He's been succeeded by Jamie Keene, who's the oldest player on the team, 76 years old. He's an effective punter, nice and high, and a fair catch call and taken at the 20-yard line. That's old. 76 years old. I, did I say 76? I so. That's the, it's tw is he 26? Well, all of a sudden, I put myself on the field. <laughs> That's old. <laughs> it's a subconscious. That's a redshirt, redshirt, redshirt. With my moderate to severe ulcerative colitis, the possibility of a flare was almost always on my mind. Thinking about what to avoid, where to go, and how to deal with my UC. To me, that was normal until I talked to my doctor. She told me that Humira helps people like me get UC under control and keep it under control when certain medications haven't worked well enough. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Raise your expectations. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, control is possible. It's a calling. A love affair. A quest. The next horizon. Everyone loves the chase.
Tuesday, the most talked about man in late night meets the most talked about man in politics. Stephen Colbert welcomes Donald Trump. It's a matchup you can't miss. Tuesday. LSU leads 14-0 during the timeout. There was a massive presence on the LSU sideline. Mr. Shaquille O'Neal, graduate of LSU, and a center here for Dale Brown, 89-92. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back LSU. And on the Auburn sideline, much more petite. <laughs> Here's Allie LaForce. <laughs> Thank you, Vern. Behind me, these are the normal benches you'd see at any game here in Death Valley, but they did put fans underneath them to keep the players cool. It turns out Auburn requested to bring in their own cooling benches, but LSU declined. They said they didn't have, have enough power in the stadium, so Auburn said, okay, we'll bring our own generators. They still said no. It turns out the fire marshal put the x nay on it, so Auburn was not able to bring in those benches. Uh, if you look on LSU's side, too, they don't have cooling benches, so it doesn't seem to be an unfair advantage in any way. I really like that, Ali. Last week you responded to Keister, and tonight we get an X-Nay. Stanton threw it on the reverse. He's got two blockers in front. Cuts it inside, is caught from behind, but a big gain and a first down out to the 38 yard line. Ricky Jefferson made the stop. Again, there's Gus Malzahn looking for big plays. Remember, if you watch. Uh, Auburn play football in 2013. They led the country, Vern, in plays of plus 10. Last year they were eight. This year just eight plays going in this game, plus 10 yards. They need some big plays. Peyton Martin goes left. That's a little bit. Yeah, and, and Gus Malzahn was saying that yesterday. Yep. We we just desperately need explosive plays. Right. And it's part of it was a staple of his offense that he built in 2010. 13 and 14, but this year so far hasn't found. Second down, eight. Auburn's offense today limited to 53 yards. You won't see that LSU defense move much. No. They get their calls, they stick with their calls. It's been a staple since I've been following this time. Here's Johnson, right side. He's got it down and caught by Jason Smith, number four. That will be short of the first down. Kevin Steele, the new defensive coordinator, was just recently on the Alabama staff. He was telling us yesterday he and John Chavis go back to the early 90s with their friendship. Is there much difference? No, no. He said it, philosophically? He said it wasn't broke. I don't need to fix it. I just need to continue to coach it. Third down. Dakeel Williams Duke is in tight to the right. Two receivers top of the screen. Johnson rolls out, pulls up, fires it in complete too high. Yeah, too high, but a struggling yeah. quarterback. You know, Marcus Davis could have helped him out. You know, I mean, that's one of those, and you're playing on the road, 14 to nothing, and come down with that one. It's a first down. Yeah, it, it should have been thrown lower, but, you know, those are the type of plays that you just say, come on, give me one of those catches. Kevin Phillips will punt. Tredavious White, number 18, who, by the way, his nickname is Little Shaq. Had a chance to spend time with Tredavious yesterday. He said his dad was known as Shaq because he was tall and bald. High punt. Wow. See what kind of bounce they get. It goes into the end zone. And so that will be a touchback. There he is, Tredavious White, wearing number 18. Time call. This is iPhone 6S. Not much has changed, except it responds to the pressure of your finger so you can peek into stuff and pop stuff open, which changes how you play a song. Read a text, read an email, read the news. Wait, you read the news? Yep. Of course you do. Now you can change apps like this, pay at more places like this, and the new color looks like this. It's rose gold, it's awesome. And Siri is more helpful than ever. Hey Siri, show me photos of tortellini. Here are some images of tortellini. Maybe get takeout? The camera shoots 4K video now, which changes how your movies look. Nice. Even selfies have changed. Now your screen is the flash. That's gonna get like a million likes. Thanks. Actually, photos themselves have changed. They move now. You just touch them. 
So yeah, that's what's changed. Well, well, if it isn't the bell of the ball. Gentlemen, you look well. What's new, Flo? Well, a name your price tool went missing last week. Name your what now? It gives you coverage options based on your budget. I just hope whoever stole it knows that it only works at Progressive.com. So you can't use it to just buy stuff? No. I'm sorry, Gustav. We have to go back to the pet store. He's going to meet us there. The Name Your Price tool, still only at Progressive.com. Adam Zucker in New York, coming up on the Geico Halftime Report. Rick, BJ, and I will get you caught up on all of today's action, including Texas A&M staying undefeated behind Kyle Allen. Five total touchdowns, four in the air as the Aggies handle Nevada 44-27. Now back to Auburn LSU. Adam, thank you. In the uh, press box up here with us is Cam Cameron, the offensive coordinator for LSU. Well, he's got an offense that he knows has weapons. He's got a quarterback that he wants to keep fresh and diverse in the formations and the diversity of plays. You can see he's given Brandon Harris a little bit of everything, trying to keep that Auburn defense off balance. Wide receivers, jet sweeps, option plays, and then even the play action pass. Everybody knows that LSU wants to run the ball, but he must, Cam Cameron, to win the championship, he believes stay diverse. Well, he's got the ball at the 20 yard line, first down 10. Toss, left side. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, approval for Fournette's run. Just to, to put a period to Cam Cameron's personal story, he shared with us yesterday that he was diagnosed with prostate cancer about a month and a half ago. He went back to Johns Hopkins and he said they saved his life. Uh, he had a procedure done, very open to sharing it. He was diagnosed with melanoma 20 years ago and all of a sudden this thing reared his ugly head, but he's fine. He was in great spirits, wasn't he? Oh. And why not? Yeah, exactly. He said, it feels good to be calling ball plays. Yeah, exactly. Second down. Up the middle she goes. Daryl Williams getting a lot of work in the first half. You know, as you notice, uh, Fournette does not start. He starts the game carrying the ball, but in the last few series, he had not touched it much. Now they come back with him, and it's really the style of the way Les likes to build his foot. Teams. Remember that 2003 great offense when Jeremy Hill, Kenny Hilliard, and Alfred Blue. It's been by committee a lot for LSU running the ball. Back in the eye, and Fournette is in. Here's Harris with play action, connects with a receiver at the 45 yard line. That is Malachi Dupree. And it's time now for the Aplac. Trivia question. There is a flag. The last time LSU lost a day game at Tiger Stadium. You know, there's so much made about their record at night, which is enviable. During the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 94, Ethan. That's a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Deborah Lawrence, who now gets to trot off and introduce himself to Will Muschamp. And it wasn't even really, it was so far away from the play, too. Inside, he gets pushed down, and uh, I didn't really see what happened after that, but obviously he must have retaliated after the play was dead. So after the penalty is marked off, it'll be a first down. Yeah, now, now it gets into a dangerous situation for Auburn because Cam Cameron would be very uh, willing to use any play in the playbook now. See what Auburn has dialed up defensively. They've got five, six men up on the line. There's a run blitz. And Fournette just keeps his feet chugging and works it down inside the 35. Lawrence number 94 is back in the backfield, gets pushed down. Gets, yep. Oh, gosh. Well, he's lucky he didn't get thrown out. I'm yep. surprised he did not get ejected. Ethan Posick was the recipient of that. Uh, it's almost a slug, a, a fist to the face, not a hand to the fist. Second down. Harris, Fournette, 
first down at the 26. Well, Will Muschamp, the defensive coordinator for Auburn, is not unfamiliar with Fournette. Uh, for Florida last year, he got a first mouthful of Fournette. He carried the ball 27 times last year against his Florida Gator team for 140 yards, almost his breakout game when he became the horse of this LSU backfield. He had a career high of 159, did Fournette. Last week, and he win at Mississippi State. He's over 100 now, nine carries. And he'll get it along again and comes left. You know, there's so many stories about the involvement of these young men in Katrina. This is the 10 year anniversary. Right. Fournette has a story about him and his family, his mom, his two sisters, his brother, four nights and five days with thousands of others on the Claiborne Street Bridge in New Orleans before they got rescued and got out of there. And his is not the only story among the young men on this LSU team. High formation. Toss. Lead block from Moore. Fournette to the 15 yard line. That might be enough for a first down. Chris Frost, number 17, is the first man there. He'll, he'll tap out now. That's a lot of carries in this thing, and they don't want to get him dinged or anything. You got to use him. He likes to lather up, and uh, looks like Darius Geis is coming in the game. There. Freshman tailback who they just love and thinks he's going to be a spectacular football player. Wearing number five. Can come out of the backfield. They say he can do it all and might be as the, I don't know, it's hard to believe, the fastest back because Fournette's pretty fast. Play action. Into the corner. Trayvon Durall is overthrown, incomplete. I wrote this down about Geis yesterday when we talked to Les. It's not often you hear a head coach talk about a freshman like this. Well, first the end of the play. Yeah, just a, a, a fade throw to the outside, just a little bit through it where nobody else could get it. And he said of Geis, he has unbelievable skills. Right. We haven't heard anything like that since the Jackson quarterback for LSU <laughs> coach kind of going out of his way to tell us about <laughs> A player that's never played before. Geis is still on the field. Harris comes near side. Great read. Nice tackle. Trey Matthews, number 28. Yeah. Last time we saw Trey, he had that injured shoulder we talked about earlier. It's one of the transfers, obviously, from Georgia. Veteran players. The secondary is somewhat of a concern. You know, without Hosley, one of their veterans, uh, they play three true freshmen, one sophomore, and two transfers along with Rudy uh, Jonathan Ford. Rudy works. Yes. That's his nickname. Third down. Durrell and Dupree, two wide receivers. How wide. aggressively do they get with Harris here? Now oh, he's the blitz. Harris got a man oh, wide throw. open and overthrows it. Throw. Whoa! Trayvon Durrell had two steps on the defender. The ball was a little late. He threw it. He didn't time it out right, and he knew he was late with the throw. So when he tried to hurry it up, the ball should have been halfway there when he makes his break. Since he was late, he knew that window was going to get passed by, and that's why it sailed. Uh, Trent Domang will try his first field goal of this season and only the fifth of his career. Last year, he was two of three against AM, missed the other. This will be from 32, which, if good, will be his career long. Now, we were alerted to the possibility that Domang would replace Delahousie as the field goal kicker in this one, and he increases the lead to 17 zip. Changing your oil with Napa know how. First, drain it, then, filter it, and fill it up. Boom! Done! Now you've got time to help the neighbors dig that in-ground pool. I'm getting a pool! <laughs> nice work. Time to recycle that oil. Hold up. Looks like Miss Mikowski needs a new hot tub. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa know-how. You're there every step of the way. Go, 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 go! 
Help them go further with the protection of life insurance from New York Life. Get started today. This football season, we get anything we want. Any toppings, any specialty, any large Pizza Hut pizza for just 10 bucks. If only this could last forever. But it won't. Now until September 27th, bring on the flavor with a $10 any carryout deal. Only at Pizza Hut. Hut, hut. The geniuses of Scorpion are back. With this job, the motions run high. Welcome back to Scorpion. Scorpion, season premiere, CBS Monday, 9, 8 central. CBS Sports Network brings you a fresh spin on your morning pregame show. Join our team as they cover everything from the field through fantasy. That other pregame show tomorrow morning at 9 Eastern on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Off defensive line coach. Yeah, along with Kevin Steele, Les Miles was able to bring in Ed Orgeron, one of the great defensive line coaches in all of college football, and he attracts good pass rushers. They come to him like magnets. Arden Key, their high recruit out of Georgia, said, I committed the day that Ed Orgeron signed at LSU. Well, a former head coach at Ole Miss, then the uh, defensive coordinator at USC, served as the interim coach after Lane Kiffin was fired and was very disappointed that he didn't get the USC job. Made himself available, and here's a pooch kick, right side. Up and caught at the 28-yard line by Auburn. It's interesting field position being uh somewhat conservative not trying to kick it long especially when you're kicking it out of the end zone for lsu and now uh, you got jeremy johnson who has listen can't hide i've been there people show your replays when you have interceptions and today this was so poorly thrown inside the numbers on a takeoff allows the free safety to come over when you've got elite athletes like jamal adams to come across they'll eat those type of throws up that ball should have been outside the numbers at the very least but Vern, this is the time remember auburn gets the ball to start the second half they could put together a five minute drive here and get the ball back they could climb back into this football game right here on first down 10 and off left side there's a broken tackle and peyton barber scoots down the sidelines and is out of bounds, apparently with the first down. It is indeed move the sticks. Well, that offensive line has, has been counted on, been so effective. This time, Kozan coming around the edge. Well blocked and well run. And this ain't going to be pretty. Johnson in trouble. He's in further trouble. And he's knocked out of bounds with a loss all the way back to the 39. Ricky Jefferson, number 29, first in pursuit. I think it was Gotcha, number 57, that busted the play up early, and that really ended it. You know, maybe not the tackle on the play, but that put spilled it to the outside, and then there was no way to run away from 11 defenders with this kind of speed. And so now Auburn's looking at a second and 17, and a quarterback who was 5 of 9 for a modest 30 yards in this game, and he's thrown a pick. Quick flip, left side, nothing. Well, something. Carry on Johnson, number 21. Lamar Lewis, number 11, made the tackle. You know how they say Vern, an offensive lineman, if you don't say anything about him, that's a good thing? Uh huh. Well, Kevin Tolliver, a true freshman corner, we haven't even mentioned his name. That's a good thing. When you're playing corner, you're playing bump and run man to man, and we haven't even mentioned, mentioned his name. That's a good thing. Rock Thomas is in the backfield. Chandler Cox sets up to the left side. And I don't think LSU is going to blitz on this one. Last time mm, third and long, no. they did. Yep. Bring four. Drop seven. Johnson across the middle. One hopper incomplete. Uh, Duke Williams, the intended receiver, he was somewhere in the neighborhood. Williams and Jeremy Johnson were not on the same page on that throw. Johnson thought Duke Williams was going to come straight across, and Williams was going to the middle of the field. That was not on the same page at all. That brings on Kevin Phillips. Kevin Phillips. 
Tredavious White is at the 13 yard line. He's going to let this one go over his head. Ah. Yeah, Something goes Auburn way. And all three timeouts for Auburn. Again, they've still got an opportunity to climb back in this game with a stop here. Well, let's get the duck back out here and answer the Aflac trivia question, which was Aflac. last time LSU lost a day game at Tiger Stadium. And the answer is against Ole Miss 31 13. Wow, I am tired of those people complaining about us coming here and taking away their advantage of night games. Well, they're just as good in the day. Uh, they are, yes. That means they've got a lot of good players, I think, right? Are you suggesting that SEC fans are passionate about their team, <laughs> no matter which city? But they certainly are here. What do you mean you're kicking off at 2.30? Les Miles is 11-0 and in day games here, by the way. On first down. A couple of yards. Leonard Fournette back in. And I guess we should mention this that Brandon Harris is seeking his first win in his first start here. The last 11 LSU quarterbacks who've made their first start at home have won each time out. 11 and 0. And Harris's uh, team is leading 17 zip. It'll be third down. And let's check in with Allie LaForce. Jeremy Johnson has been trying to figure out how he can better his game offensively. So he didn't start this game with a glove on. But then after he was struggling through the interception, we saw him put this glove on. It's nice and sticky. He thought it would help with his grip. Well, after that last drive, Coach Lashley, the offensive coordinator, came over, took it off of his right hand, and threw it behind the bench and said, you don't need this glove. You need to figure it out mentally. That all came also on Allie's report from the time the ball slipped out of his hand early in the game. Yep. So, you know, maybe an overreaction, but I'll admit, the passing game's not been there. On third down. And they got it. Big. Brandon Harris Great spilled ball. the 45. That's that running quarterback that has been giving Auburn fits. Jacksonville State, the keep here going the opposite way, a design play, well blocked by Clapp again, number 64. Jacksonville State had 18 plays of plus 10 yards against Auburn's defense. 18. That was a 33-yard game to complement a 27-yarder earlier by Harris. And now it becomes a scoring opportunity for LSU instead of Auburn. And the toss to Fournette. Gets a block from the edge from his tight end. And Blake Countess, number 24, makes the tackle. By the way, uh, Colin Jeter has been back on the field. He was the tight end who was hit by Countess earlier in this quarter. But he has been back for two or three plays. Second down. Raven Durrell gets a bit of a block, but then he makes a heck of a move. It's that talent outside. Durrell, Dupree, Trey Quinn. I mean, he just takes Jonathan Jones at time and stutter steps him and gets away. And Durrell is 6'2", 203. Had a question to less about uh, Matthew Flynn, which was really funny. One more time for the break. He did. LSU touchdown. say this stuff because you get crushed by saying it. 
But if you're not reminded of Herschel Walker after that run. I know that Bill Gates is sitting at home in Jacksonville, the Tennessee great, My God. and thinking, I've been there. I, mean, I remember he's Herschel the same running over size. me. He's 230 pounds. He ran a ton, 10, 6, 100 meters in high school, and watch him run through the Auburn defense. And there were a couple guys on Auburn that turned the tackle down. We all feel the calling to build something great. Engineered for innovation. Designed for style. Classic and cutting edge. It looks and feels like a luxuriously crafted device. Precisely because it is one. The all-new LG G4. See the great, feel the great. I'm back. William Peterson returns. I miss working side by side with you. The final CSI, CBS September 27th. Welcome back to Tiger Stadium. It is electric here in Death Valley as the Tigers just went 95 yards in six plays, capped by a thunderous 40 yeah. yard run from Fournette. Pretty sure that was Buck Ballou tossing that ball back into the tailback that play. <laughs> Could have been. It's exactly the same. I'll tell you that. My gracious. By the way, Fournette now with a career high. He's got 169 yards. That's to complement the 159 he had last week at Mississippi State. That's a collision with his own teammate by Kerryon Johnson. That one had to hurt. Well, I got to tell you, in the film room, Coach Will Muschamp will not be happy with Jonathan Ford. His effort as the free safety. Watch Jonathan Ford's effort on this play. He jogs across slowly and doesn't even lay out on the play. Blake Countess gets run over, but I can guarantee you when they're watching tapes, it'll be Jonathan Ford that hears it from Coach Muschamp. Inexcusable effort. And here's Muschamp with his defensive unit. It was Jonathan Ford widely quoted earlier in the week saying, Leonard Fournette will be no challenge. 305 yards offense for LSU in the first half. Gee whiz. Sleep left. Javon Robinson. He's been injured and Kendall Beckwith makes the stop. Well coming up we'll go back to the studio. For our loquacious trio with Adam Zucker Rick Bryant. Scores and highlights on the Geico halftime report. Second down and 10 with 94 seconds to go. Javon Robinson remains the running back. And they sweep it to the left side as uh, Javon Robinson. Well, it's got to been a. It has been a dispiriting halftime for Auburn, both sides of the ball. Well, the question has been going into this year, could Jeremy Johnson's new style of quarterback play replace the running quarterback style of Nick Marshall? Remember, the big yards that Auburn put up against LSU the last two years. In each game, Nick Marshall rushed the ball 30 times. He had 60 rushing attempts against LSU in two games. They're not getting any running production out of the quarterback. Four-man rush. They stunt inside. Yeah. So Jamal Alexander, he was thinking touchdown, sure I was. promise you. He was playing the money position in the dime package, which means he's playing basically the will linebacker spot on this. He's in the middle of the field, goes to the strong curl, and has an easy interception. 
Well, it's been a nightmare again for Jeremy Johnson. That one should have been intercepted. And such high expectations. Yes. They talked about he was going to be the future of Auburn football. And he was so patient sitting behind Nick Marshall. And it's just been a terrible start for him as a full time starter for this team. Now there's a flag thrown. Forty one yard punt. We'll see what the uh, call is here. During the return, block in the back. Receiving team, number 26. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Aerial coverage today provided by Goodyear. For 60 years, Goodyear has provided aerial coverage of college football's greatest traditions and biggest rivalries. I'm going to try to find some silver lining for Auburn, and it has to be for them to look back to 2013. Against this team, they were down 21 nothing at half. But in the second half, they rallied. They found a new type of a play. They put in the zone read. They kind of turned their season around. Remember, that's a team that got to the national championship in 2013. So they figured it out. Remember that big win later in the year against, obviously, Texas A&M and then Alabama. But in this game, they were down 21 nothing in the first half. Very reminiscent of where they are now. Darryl Williams. And it's... Uh... Going to be a second down. That'll be the final play of the first half. All LSU. It's so bad. Auburn will leave the field with all three of their timeouts. And that's a man. Total offense in the first 30 minutes of play for LSU 307 Auburn with 70. Let's go down to Allie who's with Gus Malzahn. Coach zero is not a number that Auburn is used to seeing. It seems like Jeremy Johnson is out of sync with his receivers. What seems to be the problem? Yeah, I think that's fair to say right now. We got to figure out to run the football. We do got to get in sync in the passing game. Right now our passing game has got off and we got to figure out a way to get some passes when they're there and we got to be able to run the ball. Almost all of LSU's success has come on the ground over 250 yards rushing already. How do you limit that performance? Well, we got to keep the defense off the field too. It works works both ways right here. We got to score some points to give our defense a little life. Any chance you make a quarterback change? We'll, we'll talk at halftime. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, they need to find something at the quarterback position, but you know, Vern, I showed some other positions that need to uh, upgrade their play in this football game as well. Well, if he do, do, does make a change, Sean White is listed as the backup. That's the end of the first half. 24 nothing here at Tiger Stadium. Let's go to Adam Zucker in our New York studio. All right, wow, Vern, thank you. Coming up here on the Geico Halftime Report, Rick, BJ, and I will show you how the number one team in the country is struggling today against Northern Illinois after this word from your local station. It's the wedding of the year on the Big Bang season premiere, CBS This Monday. My grandfather always said, give the customer two things, best quality and best price. Right now at your local Rouse's, a value pack of bone-in sirloin end pork chops is just 97 cents a pound. Bone-in split chicken breasts are only 98 cents a pound. Selected Rouse's coffee is just $2.97. Get more weekly specials in-store and online at Rouse's.com. Low prices are just one reason why the best chefs and cooks shop at Rouse's. This is the game we like to call follow the leader. Ram 1500 is powerful enough to tow 9,200 pounds and delivers up to 29 miles per gallon highway. With more people driving Ram trucks than ever before, we've built quite the following. Get a great deal on the best trucks during Ram Truck Month. Now purchase and get 9,500 in total values on 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x2 models in stock the longest. Scott on Gel has a lot in common with Obama. 
both longtime Democrats, Angel for 31 years. Angel voted for Obama's presidential primary and against Republicans. Like Obama, Angel grew the size of government and dramatically raised taxes. And Angel just voted to expand the Obama phone program to give people on welfare free cell phones and free internet that you pay for. Obama and Angel, both wrong for Louisiana. Hey. Hey. Did you take a look at him today? We got him up on the screen right now. Oh, no. So cute. You think they're comfortable? Uh, I bumped it down. It's getting dark. Can we turn on the lamp? Yep. Hey, is the pen open? Oh, check the other camera. That's bad. Keep an eye on your home when you're not home. Get Cox Home Life for as low as $29.99 a month and ask how to get up to a $200 prepaid card. Catch the I Am The Tigers post-game special today after the game on Channel 4. CBS Sports presents the GEICO Halftime Report. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the GEICO Halftime Report. I'm Adam Zucker alongside Rick Neuheisel and Brian Jones. The score in Baton Rouge 24-0 LSU, same margin Auburn had on LSU last year. Leonard Fournette's already got a career high, and this time Gus Malzahn is saying, Rick, he might make a quarterback. For those who thought it couldn't get worse, yeah. hold on. Oh. <laughs> six for 12. Jeremy Johnson finds himself six for 12. Many of those were passes that they scripted just to throw out as bubble screens. When it comes to anticipating, he looks lost out there, Brian. I don't know what else to say. And on the flip side, Leonard Fournette, what was that text from John Ford, the defender for Auburn? Wouldn't be that, a challenge. Yeah, it wouldn't be a challenge. The first play was a challenge out the gate in 88 for the big fella. He's had a career high already in the first half. Will Muschamp is scratching his head, as you just mentioned, Gus Malzahn. He doesn't know where, what he's going to do offensively at the quarterback position. And the big numbers, 34 yards rushing. Auburn, right. I mean, they've been used to running for 250-plus over the last couple of years. You're running for 34 yards and a half. You are in harm's way. When you're not a threat to pass the ball, exactly. they load it up. 100%. All right, let's get to some other SEC action now, starting with number 17, Texas A&M, hosting Nevada. And Kevin Sumlin going up against his uh, former assistant, Brian Polian here. BJ, the Aggies trying to stay undefeated. Yeah, Polian has been getting fined quite a bit. And uh, his secondary, they're probably going to get fined too. They gave up four touchdowns on the afternoon through the air by our two Kyle Allen. He also had a rushing touchdown sack right there by Miles Garrett. 11 sacks on the season for this Aggies defense. Yeah, LSU fans can appreciate the guidance that John Chavis has brought to that defense. 44-27, the final to get Arkansas next week. All right, Rick, uh, Matty Mock was uh, not on the field all the time for Missouri, but he gets in here. Up and down day for Matty Mock. He ends up 14 for 22 for 145. Only 85 yards rushing for Mizzou. That offense has to do better to help that defense, but they find a way to win today. Yeah, Missouri leading the SEC in defense, and uh, it came through today. UConn missing an extra point for the third straight week, by the way. All right, BJ, Dak Prescott going up against his former high school backup, J.D. Allman, today. Yeah, he's today. a cheer for Northwestern State. Northwestern State, two other contests versus Mississippi State. Didn't score a point. 81 to zip was the margin of victory. Well, hey, they're back to their old tricks, because. Dak Prescott's taking it out. Oh, they actually got on the board. Well, hey, welcome to the 21st century. The comeback came up short against LSU last week. Prescott 8 of 8 so far, and Vanderbilt going for their first win of the year. Still a 10-7 lead on Austin P. The Governors also uh, winless thus far. A huge night still to come here in the SEC. Got the big one in the East. Arkansas and Tennessee trying to bounce back. And guys, Ole Miss and Bama to end the knife. Ole Miss and Alabama, an old-fashioned defensive slugfest. Which of those two young quarterbacks is going to uh, show themselves in this kind of environment? Looks to be a great game. I, but I think it's going to come down to offensive lines. And with Tunsil out for Ole Miss, I'm giving the nod to Alabama. Oh, you must be crazy. Ole Miss is going to win this ballgame on the road. Crazy Big as upset. a fox, Look at friend. Kentucky. Crazy as a fox. <laughs> Excuse me, South Carolina and Georgia. That's going to be a big one as well. And you got uh, Orth there who's going to get the start. You know, he knocked out Connor Mitch in that ball game uh, last week versus Kentucky. Let's see what he can do on the road between the hedges. But the key is going to be stopping Nick Chubb. And this defense for <laughs> South Carolina, we thought it was fixed. I'm not so sure. All right. And Kentucky trying to end a 28-game losing streak yeah. to Florida. Uh, a reminder, next Saturday, it's the Home Depot SEC on CBS. Go big or go home. Tennessee at Florida. Coverage begins at 3 o'clock Eastern with Auto Trader College Football today. All right. Time for the download. Let's update our interactive question of the week. Earlier, we asked you who is the best running back in the SEC. 
A lot of people starting to click on oh. Leonard. Leading the way over uh, Derrick Henry, who of course is in action tonight along with Mitch. early. If you didn't click, you Other. ain't watching. <laughs> Let us know if you agree with the results. Polls are still open. Join us on uh, Twitter and Facebook at SEC on CBS. The polls are open until next November. All right, coming up, we'll update you on number one Ohio State, who has spent much of the first half of their game doing the quarterback shuffle against Northern Illinois when the Geico Halftime Report continues. The Home Depot, SEC on CBS, is sponsored by The Home Depot. Kia. Geico. And by Voya. Fact. Fast-acting Advil is designed with an ultra-thin coating and fast-absorbing Advil Ion Core technology, stopping headaches and other tough pain fast. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Huh, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yeah, everybody knows that. Well, did you know that playing cards with Kenny Rogers gets old pretty fast? You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. What? You get it. No. I get the gist, yeah. yeah. Okay. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Let me get this straight. You quit your job, sold all your stuff to get a new car, and now you're just going to drive across the country. That is the plan. <sighs> Wish I'd done that. Discover the exciting and reliable Optima. Discover the new Kia. Lease the Optima LX for $189 a month or get $2,000 customer cash. A better network, as explained by backup quarterback Luke McCown. Verizon has backup generators for most of their towers, so they're ready if the power ever goes down. I wonder why they save those backups and not just put them in the regular rotation. I bet if they just had the chance, some of those backups would really shine. No matter what happens, a reliable network has your back. Fire! Fire! Putting your finances in order. It's one of the best ways to start planning for retirement. At Voya, we can help you organize your savings and investments. So when the time comes, you'll have that orange money set aside for all the things you want to do. Like taking that road trip, volunteering, or simply spoiling your grandkids. Isn't that what it's all about? Start today, be ready tomorrow. Get organized at Voya.com. At Outback, steak and unlimited shrimp is back for just $15.99. For a limited time, try unlimited garlic herb butter or crispy shrimp for just $15.99. And let the bold flavors speak for themselves with unlimited shrimp at Outback. Tomorrow at 9, Rex Ryan talks about going head-to-head -head with Bill Belichick. He's been there and done it. He's got all the rings to prove it. But he knows I'm going to give him everything I have. NFL Game Day Morning, tomorrow at 9, live on NFL Network. All right, welcome back to the Geico Halftime Report. A reminder, CBS Sports Network brings you fresh perspective from some of the most exceptional women in sports. Don't miss We Need to Talk Tuesday nights at 8 Eastern on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. <laughs> now back to the action, starting with number one Ohio State hosting Northern Illinois member Ezekiel Elliott. Try to ask him Taylor Swift out on a date over Twitter, and I think her advice to the whole team right now, Rick, would be to shake it off. Cardale Jones, what is going on? Cardale, a little high there. That's his first pick that leads to this play right here yeah Northern Illinois runs in for a touchdown Argaris Turner the caps it off of the five yard TV here he does it again Adam same guy Sean Lurie with his second interception that leads to a field goal and that leads to a quarterback change 12 gauge out JT I don't Barrett is. this just in they've got a backup right there JT Barrett has done this before he ends up half 
three of six, 31 yards, and this touchdown. And so Ohio State able to tie it up before the half. That's where we stand right now. Ezekiel Elliott with 43 yards thus far on the ground. Meanwhile, Michigan State coming off that big win over Oregon. They take care of Air Force 35 to 21. All right, back to the field here. Notre Dame banged up B.J. Hanlon, Georgia Tech so far. Yeah, they are a little banged up, but Mr. C.J. Procise is in the zone. Now, was he? Yeah, they said he was. He took the pile on there. He, he was in the zone. <laughs> now, can I, can I get a kick and a hit an extra point? Are you kidding me? Come on. Deshaun Kaiser, one of each so far, 13-7 through a third and goal interception. All right, more for you, BJ. Vernon Adams has the week off, so here's Jeff Lockie. Yeah, he's got to help that little uh, little pinky. He's got a little issue with that hand, but uh, Lockie here, 23-31, 228, two touchdowns on the day. I got this. Those uniforms, I'm not so sure about that. They look like Cal to me. All right, Oregon's going to face uh, Utah next week. Meanwhile, how about Baker Mayfield, the school record 572 yards of total offense, four passing touchdowns and two on the ground in the win over Tulsa. High scoring game there. Northwestern moves to 3-0 and now. They go to Duke and get the win 19-10. to And Wisconsin in action right now. Joel Stave, 7 of 11, a 14-3 lead. And a reminder, it's Thursday Night Football on CBS and NFL Network. This week, it's the Redskins and Giants. And tomorrow, the NFL on CBS features the Chargers and Bengals. It all gets started at noon Eastern with the NFL Today. Thank you for watching the Geico Halftime Report. Coming up, the second half of Auburn and LSU. Enjoy the rest of the game. CBS Sports presents the Geico Halftime Report. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. Get a designer look for less. Right now, hand-scraped Saratoga Hickory Laminate is just 99 cents per square foot. At the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. When you move, Degree Motion Sense reacts. With unique micro capsules activated by movement, the release bursts of freshness all day. Motion Sense, protection to keep you moving. Degree, it won't let you down. Changing your oil with Napa Know How. First, drain it, then filter it, and fill it up with fresh Napa Synthetic. Boom, done. Now do your wife a solid and take the mother in law out for a Sunday drive. Mission accomplished. Never ready with you again. Conquer the job like you conquer life with Napa Know How. Who knows? One of these kids just might be the one to clean the oceans, start a movement, or lead a country. It may not be obvious yet, but one of these kids is going to change the world. We just need to make sure she has what she needs. Welcome to Windows 10. The future starts now for all of us. I taught you how to do it, okay? Too good, too good, too good, too good, too good. You prepare them for all that lies ahead. Help them go further with the protection of life insurance from New York Life. Get started today. Hey, Pete, check yeah. this out. Come here, little doggy. Sit. Oh. Sit. You train your little doggy? Yeah, but he's not doing any of his stuff. Shake! Oh, maybe he's grumpy, you know? Oh. I mean, it is lunchtime, so. Oh, right, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime, yeah. Must be it. <laughs> little doggy. It's okay. Does it taste good, though? A little dog with a mm. big bite. Little doggies, starting at $1.29. And don't forget half price flushes every day at happy hour. This is how you Sonic. In the Southeastern Conference, you could fill a book with the stories of our athletic success. But our student athletes are doing more than excelling in competition. They're doing things like building homes for those in need and mentoring at-risk children. See, our athletes are doing more than just changing the game. They're changing the world for the better. 
Returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Touchdown. Halftime with LSU leading 24 zip. Many great traditions abound on game day throughout the league. And each week we'll give you a taste of tradition presented by Sonic. For more, here's Allie. Tigers is one of the most popular nicknames in all of college athletics. And the foundation of Auburn and LSU's beloved namesakes dates back hundreds of years. Auburn traces its roots back to the Oliver Goldsmith poem, The Deserted Village, published in 1770. The famous opening line, Sweet Auburn, loveliest village on the plain. Later in the poem, Goldsmith wrote, where crouching tigers wait their hapless prey. The school adopted the name and fielded its first football team in 1892 under the name Tigers. The LSU moniker dates back to the Civil War. Infantrymen from Louisiana came to be known as Louisiana Tigers because of their tenacity and ferociousness during battle. Thus, to honor their legacy, the school adopted the nickname Tigers. Now the Tigers lead the Tigers 24 to nothing. Auburn trying to find some kind of answer during the halftime break. We'll return to Tiger Stadium after this. Now that's a full weekend. Join in and guess the five stops they made by tweeting hashtag Ultima Weekend Contest for a chance to win your own weekend adventure. With Monday morning traffic report, after the weekend's crazy festival, let's go to our eye in the sky for the latest on the morning. Scott Danshaw was never afraid of a good dare, or even a double dare. We have three more dares for you. Mild Chipotle, Hot Habanero, and Fiery Ghost Pepper. Taco Bell's new $1 Daredevil Loaded Grillers. Hi, I'm Andrew Luck, and I have DirecTV. And I'm out of control beard Andrew Luck, and I have cable. Only NFL Sunday Ticket has the Fantasy Zone channel. It's all things fantasy, all in one place. With cable, I have to watch the game here and get fantasy stats here. Fantasy Zone takes you player to player live, so you see everything as it happens. I happen to not be wearing a shirt. Don't be like this me. Get NFL Sunday Ticket, only on DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Behind every victory is someone who helped make it happen. Call them mentors, coaches, or even mom or dad. At Northwestern Mutual, we call them advisors. The right financial partners to help you tap into strengths you might not even know you have and guide you where you want to be financially and personally. Because no one wins alone. You and Northwestern Mutual, stronger together. And that's how they're made. No. Klondike ice cream meets candy bar. The best ice cream bar ever conceived. Away. Away is the smell of victory. And the smell of burgers. Away is always having home field advantage. Even when you're miles away from home, find your away. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. PGA Tour Live delivers action you can't see anywhere else. How about that? Here's Jimmy Walker. Right there! Catch this week's featured groups by downloading the app today or visit... At the half, Auburn won the option, deferred the option till this half, so they will get the ball. Trent Domingue will kick off. Jonathan Ford and Blake Countess are the deep men. This will be eight yards back. And a moment ago, Allie the Force 
with LSU coach Les Miles. Coach, Auburn hasn't been shut out in the first half since 2013, but you got it done. How were you able to be so dominant defensively? I think all three phases. If you watch this play, the uh, defense was dominant to, to start the game. Offensively, we rushed the football. Leonard Fournette in the first scrimmage play, bus off for a long game, almost a touchdown. And the special teams, we were, we're making a punt. We're fielding those punts. We're, I mean, if we keep playing like that, that's the recipe for victory. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Jeremy Johnson is the signal caller on first down. This is Stanton Truitt on the jet sweep. He goes to the left side. There was some speculation that we might see Sean White, at least for now. It's Johnson's team. It's going to be a gut check. For, uh, for Auburn. I'm sure Gus Malzahn walked in that locker room and said, listen, LSU's not going to feel sorry for you. We are going to watch how you play this second half. We've lost games before in this conference and to come back, I'm going to watch how you play the second half of this football game for the rest of our season. Who's going to play and who's going to get snaps? Keep it on the ground, go left. That's Rock Thomas. And the pile is still moving. How about that? Yeah, went to a football game and a rugby scrum broke out. They have marked it down at the 40, the 38 yard line. That's good for a first down after the 38 yard line. Johnson out of the shotgun, first down 10. Truitt to his right. Carry on Johnson is to the left. Here's Johnson in trouble, caught and dropped. To Sean Bauer, number 46. Bauer. Well, Tredavious White that time, Vern, he saw the peeling guy come on the wheel, but watch White get looking inside. He shoves off and then he falls off. Nowhere to throw the ball. Keep it in front of you. Nowhere for Johnson to go with the ball. Sack. Second down, 13. Four receivers out, court design quarterback draw. Oh my goodness! Now he does not have great speed, but he's got a chance. Touchdown, Auburn! Out of nowhere, running quarterback. This Auburn offense doesn't work without one. Well, obviously at halftime, he woke up and thought he was Cam Newton. You bet. And, you know, he does run under 4-6, Vern. He's not one of those dynamic runners, but he's got good speed. And that time, Jamal Adams runs around a block, gambles a bit too much, and that allows what would have been a big play to be a touchdown play. Daniel Carlson for the extra point. And all of a sudden, the most unexpected of plays from a quarterback not known for his running ability. 65 yards on the quarterback draw. That was Braden Smith leading him downfield. most advanced iPhone yet. Get the new iPhone 6S at T-Mobile, the network that's doubled its LTE coverage in the past year. Our new extended range LTE signal now reaches twice as far as before and is four times better in buildings. Want more? Pay nothing up front when you get the new iPhone 6S at T-Mobile. Pre-order now at 1-800-T-MOBILE. Okay. So the government crash tested the F-150, the one with the high strength military grade aluminum alloy body, bolted to a high strength steel frame. And guess what? It made the strongest statement any truck can make. It pulled a five star safety rating on all sides for every cab configuration. Because when they say military grade, they mean battle tested. 
This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. Get ready for even bigger cases in the Big Easy. That's what I'm talking about. The NCIS New Orleans season premiere, CBS This Tuesday. Thursday night football on CBS. Washington goes into New York to take on the Giants. Still reeling in all likelihood from their unexpected one point loss in Dallas last Sunday night. So it's Washington and the Giants Thursday night on CBS. This the home of Super Bowl 50. Well, that's got to feel good to that Auburn football team, a quarterback who's struggling. Now that quarterback makes a play, and all of a sudden, you know, Les is doing an interview with Allie, which obviously he has to do, and he's talking about everything looks good, and all of a sudden now it's football game again. Mm -hmm. Well, they've got a new kick around now, and they go for the onside kick, a pooch kick, and it's taken easily. Will Hastings came on and kicked it right into the hands of Colin Jeter. Kevin Steele has his combo defense out. Linebacker here, linebacker there. They both are playing combo. Watch Jamal Adams right here. He's the guy that plays the inside, has a chance, jumps around the play. When he jumps around the blocker, that creates the opening. Instead of it being a 20-yard play, it ends up being a touchdown play. Well, the recovered pooch kick by Jeter. And here comes Brandon Harris and the LSU offense. Well, a little good feeling for Jeremy Johnson. 65 yard run by far the longest of his career. Toss right, Fournette. He's got two blockers in front of him. He's got a little speed, doesn't he? And he's down to the 41 yard line. Yeah, got a late hold, I think, on that play. Personal foul, illegal block all the way. Number 74, offense. It's a 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay, first down. Dell Alexander, the tackle, pulls around the outside, and the, once he gets into the secondary, you can't throw like that. So that, that could have been a obviously bigger play, but uh, you know, the adjustment, as you can see, Alexander right there throws inside on McKenzie right there. And, it could have been out the back door. You know, the adjustment that the Auburn offense makes to run the quarterback, that's pretty easy. I don't know what adjustments you make if you're Will Muschamp. I mean, you've had eight men in the box, they played man, they blitzed. When you get blocked at the line of scrimmage and the tailback running, not a lot you can grab. Here's the toss near side. And Fournette gets around the corner. Look at him bull over the defender. That will elicit roars of triumph and adulation from this crowd that exceeds 90,000. I had a couple guys in the press box come up to me, longtime LSU watchers, and have been watching LSU football for probably 56 years, and 50, 60 years. And they've said they think that Fournette is the best back that's ever played at LSU. Uh, you know, there's a, a retired name up here on this stadium but I mean Leonard Fournette is now into the area where he could be an all time great for LSU. Darius Geis after that first down of 20. Here's Harris being chased. He goes at oh, right what side. A what a throw. What a throw. It is ruled incomplete but nevertheless Malachi Dupree number 15. Yeah, and, that, and this ball should have been caught by Dupree because this is as an athletic throw as you can make. Going to your right off your back foot, about a 35-yard throw right there, and maybe their best receiver just drops it. I mean, you got to think again about Fournette. I mean, a 10 6 8 100 meter in high school. Fournette, you were talking about Alexander, the first ever player in LSU history who was offered a scholarship as a freshman football player. Offered by Frank Wilson, the recruiting coordinator here. And time is taken by LSU. 24-7 is our score. Saturday afternoon in Death Valley. 
You got a truck for a reason, remember? So get some Firestone tires and go do truck stuff. Saw this in a movie stuff. Get off the internet stuff. Donde estoy stuff. Firestone Destination LE2. Built with patented treads for maximum wet traction and 60,000 miles of truck stuff. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And a gentle wave like motion. Liberate your spine. And reach toes blossoming. Not that great at yoga. Yeah, but when I slipped a disc, he paid my claim in just one day. So he had your back? Yep. In just one day, we have proven pay. One day pay, only from Aflac. Hello, team. Good morning, sir. Here at Rent.com, we take our own HD photos and create our own 3D floor plans. So what you see here is what you'll see here. Take it from me, legitimate master. Nice room. What? Oh! No HD. No HD. Mm. Rent.com. 3D floor plans, HD photos, and it's all legit. I what? That's not legit. The Home Depot SEC on CBS is sponsored by Aflac. Sonic. Verizon. And by Rent.com. Second down and 10, 24 nothing, 24 7 LSU. Gary, take us through the game trends. Well, you don't have to see the stats to know that number seven is a big part of this football game. And again, if you can't stop the downhill tailback, you're in trouble. Jeremy Johnson struggled first half. Gus even said he might think about think a quarterback change, but second half, he hits, pops a run and uh, all of a sudden, Auburn goes from at least embarrassing stats to being in the football game. They need to stop, though. They need to stop right here and get the football back. I think Gus was right when he talked to Ali Vern at the end of the half. His offense has to help his defense. It's not going to just be a defense. It's not going to shut this offense out the way Fournette can run the football. It'll be second down and 10. Brandon. The civil authorities have issued a child abduction emergency for all of Louisiana beginning at 5.36 p.m. and ending at 5.51 p.m. WQUE. The Louisiana State Police has canceled the Amber Alert issued on behalf of the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office. Denham Bureau and Mary Jones have been located and harmed in Calcasia Parish. Ouch. He's not a small back either. He's 222 pounds. He looks short, but he is stocky and strong. And boy, the, as, as Vern told you earlier, the coaches could not stop talking about him. I mean, with Walk Williams, Fournette, and Geis, they, that's a, another three group. Yes, it is. Embarrassment of riches. Here's for that lead blocker. He's into the secondary. Spills that guy, sheds that one. Another touchdown for Leonard Fournette. Man, oh man. I got two thoughts that nobody's going to want to hear. Number one is, can you send in your Heisman ballot now? And number two is, you know he has to play college football another year? Because this yeah. guy could play at any team on any level in the NFL. He would be a star right now. The man with the extra point. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, this was like uh, the, the ball through the Matador tape right here. I do not blame Trey Matthews for trying to go high, but it didn't work. What a highlight reel. Time call. Verizon now has one simple plan. Just pick a size, small, medium, large, and extra large. If you need less data, pick small. If you need more, go with extra large. A whopping 12 gigs for $80 a month plus $20 per phone. Pick a size, change it up anytime. It's the simple way to get the best network. And now, get up to $400 when you switch, only at Verizon. If the Dodge Brothers walked into a dealership today, they'd be pretty impressed with what's become of their Maverick car company. With all the power, performance, and ingenuity. But knowing them, they'd insist on serving the donuts. Get yours before their history. Hey, Pete, check yeah. this out. Come here, little doggy. Sit. Oh. Sit. You train your little doggy? Yeah, but he's not doing any of his stuff. Shake. Oh, maybe he's grumpy, you know? Oh. I mean, it is lunchtime, so. Oh, right, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime, yeah. yeah. Must be it. <laughs> little doggy. It's okay. Does it taste good, though? A little dog with yeah. a big bite. Little doggies, starting in $1.29. And don't forget, half-price flushes every day at happy hour. This is how you Sonic. Boss, can you hear me? He's crashing. Time to dance, Agent Gibbs. John Cryer comes to NCIS season premiere CBS this Tuesday. On Tuesday, it's a matchup you don't want to miss. Stephen Colbert goes one on one with Donald Trump this Tuesday on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. It's worth another look, I think. John David Moore is not the number one recruit, the fullback right in front of Fournette. But watch the 4.0 walk-on clear the way with a great block, and then Fournette jumped to the outside. Look at that. A 230-pound running back. You know, I mean, I know it's almost hearsay to bring up those Herschel Walker, but you know who he does remind me of is Adrian Peterson. Mm. He, he, uh, Peterson ran with that type of intensity, size, speed, even as a freshman at Oklahoma, and obviously still today in the NFL. Well, Cam Cameron brought up Ladanian Tomlinson. Yeah, I don't no. see that. I don't either. No. No. Maybe they're both being great people. Yeah, I, 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 but the I, size is different. No, but, it's a yeah. different style, but you know, that's the way Adrian Peterson ran the ball downhill at Oklahoma and still to this day does. Now think about his journey. Grew up in New Orleans, as we mentioned earlier, he and the family marooned on the bridge during Hurricane Katrina, relocated for the moment to Slidell, Louisiana. They ultimately wound up in Portland, Texas, before they got home. Johnson at the 21. Devon Gottschall. Made the tackle. Gotcha's right here, but it was a blitz from the outside, a run blitz that time by Kevin Steele. You know, the improvement of this LSU team from a year ago, early in that season, they really struggled. Gotcha and Lacatur were the two guys inside those two tackles that really matured at the end of last year, and now they're legit inside. Second down and 14. Sweep, sweep to the uh, left side, Ricardo Lewis. Tries to cut back, and he's one yard short of the original line of scrimmage. And it's Christian Lockett who you makes the tackle. You can this. almost see it, Vern. Without the running threat at quarterback, the LSU players are not having any trouble with any of the shifts and the motions and the jet sweeps. They're just running to the guy. They're, they're saying, all right, if you want to run the quarterback, go ahead. I mean, they are not at all accounting for the quarterback in the run game. And that's why it's been a struggle for this style so far, this Auburn rush offense. Third down, 11, rollout. Johnson goes back and throws a one-hopper. Had to, a trick play, gadget play. 
Interesting call on third down, kind of a throwback screen that time. The line stalls. They do not even move that time, but LSU had no part of it. See, they don't move. LSU sees it, reads it, and forces Jeremy Johnson just to throw it in the dirt. That's going to bring on Kevin Phillips, the punter. I, I think Gus Malzahn is going to have to look at a wildcat formation as the season goes along. He's going to have to come up with something else to help his run game. This is Tredavious White fielding the punt. That's all. Oh, oh, my goodness. Wow. Devin Voorhees got the block on the special teams. 23 yard punt return by Tredavious White. Watch the block. Right there. I'm looking to get a new iPhone for my son. Oh, we have it. And right now you can get 15 gigs for the price of 10, so that's 50% more data. Oh, good, because he goes through data like crazy. <laughs> oh, there's my boy. <laughs> he goes through data like crazy. Yeah, yeah, data, streaming, texting, emailing, loves watching football games. Oh, yeah, who's your favorite team? He texts, he doesn't talk. <laughs> that would be weird. Get an iPhone at AT&T and get 50% more data. And right now get $300 credit for every line you switch. Introducing our 2015 NFL lineup. Get your favorite team's Bud Light can for game day. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, Let's take a bow. Let's do this. Get a designer look for less. Right now, hand scraped Sarah laminate is just 99 cents per square foot. At the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. This football season, we get anything we want. Any toppings, any specialty, any large Pizza Hut pizza for just 10 bucks. If only this could last forever. But it won't. Now until September 27th, bring on the flavor with a $10 any carryout deal. Only at Pizza Hut. Hut, hut. Rivers lead San Diego into Cincinnati. Flacco drives Baltimore into battle with Oakland. Great games across the country, Sunday on CBS. Time now for our AT&T Strong Performance. Gee, I wonder whom we might highlight. This is the first play of the game. 71-yard game, game, and it's the worst play of the day for Little Fulham. <laughs> it's the only one he got tackled That's on. right. The rest of them, he embarrassed the Auburn defense. Now, hey, listen, I'll give it. You know, it's, Blake Countess is going to be a highlight film, okay, when they show this game. But at least he tried to make the tackle. I'll give him all the credit in the world because this is no easy feat to try to take that guy one-on-one. -on -one. And Blake at least gave it a great shot. Got run over, but at least gave it a great shot. There have been a couple other guys that turned down tackles. Nick Rosette, who's another four-star recruit running back and he's on the field now he's not carried yet this year number four they flip it out right side caught by Tyron Johnson another true freshman and another story from Katrina he and his family took the mattress off their bed and put it in the floodwaters and floated to safety my God yeah well, he floated into this LSU program as a number one ranked player in the state of Louisiana. A true freshman receiver. He's wearing that number three. Wonder why he wanted that number. <laughs> At the end of practice yesterday, Vern, yeah. they played Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. A little tribute to OBJ. Wow. On the reverse, this is another speedy one. Jackson. Yep. It's a couple of tackles, and he's got a first down for 39. Dante Jackson, another recruit. Two-time state 100-meter champ. He plays defense, but he was the number one athlete recruited out of the state of Louisiana. Two-time 100-meter state champ. Uh, they recruit pretty well here. I've noticed that over the years. 
Trayvon Durall is back on the field. He and Malachi Dupree go to the right side and the running back now. Is Dale Williams. Williams. A rare miss. And uh, a little more on Leonard Fournette. Let's go down to Alley. Vern, he is all smiles down here on the sideline as most of the offense rose off of the bench, went to the sidelines to watch the action. He stayed on the bench. He needed a little bit of a breather after all that hard work he was putting in out there. So teammates one by one were coming up to him, shaking his hand, congratulating him on the game that he's had so far. He even turned around and waved to a fan who was yelling his name behind him, just trying to soak up the success so far. Why not, huh? He's uh Got 227 so far. The school record for a single game is Ali Broussard, 250 in 2004. Harris caught from behind, dropped at the 35 yard line. Devereaux Lawrence makes the tackle. Another one of those zone reads. Remember last week against Mississippi State, Brandon Rush nine times for 48 yards. Some of those were scrambles, but they did read the zone. They did have the zone read play, and that's exactly what it was right there. Third down six. Williams alongside Brandon Harris. Tip incomplete. Well, there are two Fournettes playing for the LSU Tigers. One, of course, is Leonard Fournette. Here's his younger brother. This is Leonard Fournette. And he said he's very comfortable with his status as the lesser talented of the two. He's had to grow up with it. 5'10", 187-pound freshman. Younger brother, Leonard Fournette. And here's Jamie Keene, the 76-year-old punter. <laughs> yes. If you're joining us late, I said he was the oldest player on this team, and I anointed him as a 76-year-old instead of a 26-year-old. That's that's a that's even old for BYU. <laughs> that's a long mission. That's a long mission. Just to show you the depth of my research. <laughs> Keen never played Australian rules football in high school. His two specialties were throwing the javelin and rowing. I mean, you know, been on the road for a while. Very good. They are. Pretty soon we're going to start talking about that game you did down as Giants. Yeah, well, yeah, gets we, any wider. we could do that. Fair catch. Well, the SEC spotlight. Shines tonight in Tuscaloosa where the Ole Miss Rebels they've scored 73 points in back to back games. They've not played Kirby Smart's defense. Yeah right. And well, of course they knocked off Alabama last year. My take on this is if LSU excuse me if Ole Miss can find some part of a running game their weakness is the tailback running back runner. If they find a running game to help Chad Kelly they have a chance but. That's easier said than done. 31 7. Running back. That's Karrion Johnson, the freshman out of Madison, Alabama. Just to talk about, uh, I don't want to get lost in numbers, but the importance of the zone read to Auburn. In 2014, they were the number one team running the zone read play. Now in all of college football 2014, 130 yards per game. Okay, Vern? Yeah. Of that, the quarterback averaged 38 yards per attempt when he rushed it off the zone read. This year, coming into the game, Auburn with the zone read, 49 yards a game, and the quarterback is averaging minus five. The civil authorities have issued a child abduction emergency for all of Louisiana beginning at 5.53 p.m. and ending at 6.08 p.m. WQUE. The Louisiana State Police has canceled the Amber Alert issued on behalf of the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office. Denham Bureau and Mary Jones have been located unharmed in Calcasita Parish.
Troy Jones is in custody. He was off almost. He was moving and they could not stop his penetration. I think that's him right there. Might be one more inside. Don't yes. give us. Yeah, one more inside. He gets there. He disrupts. And I'm telling you, Ed Orgeron, if he's allowed to, will kiss him on this one. Because that's exactly what he wants from that front. Sophomore, 6'4", 290 pounds. Did you see that get off right at the snap? Heron's in the backfield. And there it is. There, everybody else trying to kiss him. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh dear. And so first down goal. Off, uh, LSU. Yeah, they, that is quite a play on the sideline. I'm watching it. They are really loving it. On first down, it's Daryl Williams, and he surges down near the goal line. It'll be just short. Well, how about making amends for a 41-7 defeat last year in this game? Right at you, power play. Takes it into the secondary, falls forward. Daryl, probably the most power. Well, that's hard to say. There's Orgeron. At least tied with power. With yeah. Fournette. Yeah. <laughs> and Fournette is back on the field. Here comes yeah, Brandon Harris. Not, not good not to have the quarterback out there. No. High formation. Fournette, the deep back, gets the toss. He's got a touchdown. 37-7. I, I think Brandon Harris thought it was Wildcat. That's why he was surprised because they do do the Wildcat. Uh -oh. And uh, uh -oh. oh boy, that's the danger. You know they don't. You know I mean you run the ball. This could happen at any time, obviously. But this game is over. He takes a shot. Looks like the helmet right to his knee as he flies up. Yeah, it looked like a helmet went right to his right knee. Whether it's Jonathan Ford, is that who it was? We believe so. Extra point by Demang is up and through, but uh, we'll pay close attention to this scene. Yeah, and it's been so. I mean, the, the SEC has been shocked by their great running backs the last few years getting injured. Great Cruz, he looks like he caught it on his left knee there, and. Uh, you know, with Marcus Lattimore and Todd Gurley, and the whole conference is holding their breath on this elite athlete. Mother Nature can turn in an instant. Don't turn back. Introducing the new 2016 Ford Explorer. Be unstoppable. This is my fight song. Let's go, Dr. Bobby Ham. So what's the best tradition in college football? Take a guess. Anybody? Anybody? I'll give you a hint. It's the playoff. It's only the second year. It's shiny and new like a little baby that I invented. Oh, you, you, know? you invented it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. All right. Did you watch last year? Third string QB took home the trophy. Third string. That that's you guys. You don't know what's going to happen in that playoff. I can't wait. Aren't you supposed to be working or something? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. I was going to knock about me. I was going to knock about regulation to you. I think it needs more air. 100% authentic, real deal NFL tickets on NFL Ticket Exchange. Well, Leonard Fournette on the LSU bench. Getting a little massage on his left knee. But that's all. So we'll check in in just a moment. Well, you know, that that obviously was a play where, you know, the game was in control. I think that was one of a stat builder for Fernet, and uh, we, everyone's holding their breath. Domang will kick off. It's 38 to 7 with 414 to go in the third. Carry on Johnson and Blake Countess are the two deep men for Auburn. This one will be returned. It's Carry on Johnson from the one. Nice. 
even nicer. But he's down at the 42 yard line. Duke Riley special team star is the man who made the tackle. Another look at the touchdown gear. Well he goes in the air and a helmet can happen at any time right on that left knee or thigh. Let's go down to Alley. Leonard Fournette is now riding the stationary bike and he doesn't seem too concerned at all as the training staff was feeling around in that left knee. He kept shaking his head no as though he's not feeling any pain but they want him to keep it loose. Don't let it stiffen up. So right now he's riding the stationary bike. All right Alley. Thank you. First down 10. Auburn Tigers trending 38 to 7. Johnson handoff. It's Rock Thomas and a big gain over left guard to the 40 yard line. Kendall Beckwith made the tackle. Well, Rock Thomas was a five star recruit a year ago for this football team following a good block by Cameron Petway that time number 36 gashes inside and Thomas finally showed a little bit of that explosiveness that the Auburn people were been waiting for 340 to go third quarter. Give it off again to Rock Thomas. Well, Kendall Beckwith made the tackle on that last picture. He's become a standout defensively. Let's go back a few years. This is Kendall Beckwith with Les Miles at the Tiger football camp. He's grown a yes. little bit since then. So he was what, 11? 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Yeah. He only had three SEC offers. That's a, Isn't know, that amazing? Yeah. Here's Johnson. Oh. Wow. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Rock Thomas inside the 20. That was a broken play. Defense perfectly again by Tredavious White, number 18. Same wheel route, same defense. Had it stopped completely, but Jeremy Johnson kind of runs through a tackle and dumps it off very nicely in a positive play for Auburn. First down 10 at the 19 yard line. Kind of an overwhelming stat in favor of LSU 26 to 2. Sweep to the left is Rock Thomas again. Not much there. Deion Jones, number 45, with the stop. Jones made the stop. Second and nine from the 18. the middle Johnson nice move and he picks up the first down and well I think let's see where they spot this pretty close Brandon Smith same play that Johnson scored on earlier Brandon Smith wrapping around quarterback draw same exact place almost same defense that they caught that time and this time produces a first down instead of a touchdown First down goal, Auburn. Right side, Rock Thomas. Oh no, he kept it. Oh, he it. Johnson. The Alabama play. Wow. With Nick Marshall that sealed it late. Remember, we're tied Yeah. Late. Melvin Ray. Well, I don't know if he was across the line of scrimmage or not. I'm sure the line, see the line is blocking that as a run play. That's one of those plays that the defensive coaches are really pulling out their hair about. Now, did he get across the line? Line's at about the nine. He's going to run it. He's going to keep well, rolling it. on the field. There is no uh, the beyond the line scrimmage by the quarterback. The result of the play is a touchdown. Yes. His whole body has to be across the line of scrimmage. And it looked to me like his trailing foot was on the blue line. So he goes. Now he's part of the ball's ahead of the line. His body's ahead of the line. It probably will be reviewed, but I still think his foot trailing might be in the area.
crazy play, is it? Yeah. Try to stop that one. Read your <laughs> keys on this one. Another look, Gare. LSU defends it, defends it. One more run. The two players come in on it, and all of a sudden, Jadavius White says, what? He's still allowed to throw? I think his left foot is behind the line. Actually, when he starts to throw, the ball might be right there, too. I mean, look at how far the linemen are downfield. I mean, when that ball is thrown, the linemen are almost, they're allowed to go three yards down, but that, to me, that rule's got to be cleaned up. They, they, I think the most they should be is to have to be engaged one yard. You got linemen being three to almost four yards downfield. Brandon Smith is inside the five yard line on this play. That's over four yards past the line of scrimmage. Ridiculous. And John that, Bible, excuse me, yes. Gary. John Bible is the replay official. And the, the uh, lineman downfield, I don't believe, is reviewable. I know the college rule is the entire body has to be across the line, but it could have been called a lineman downfield. I mean, that was an easy call if the officials could have seen that. The ball's thrown, look at, here's a lineman more than four yards downfield. If you're a defensive player, you read that as a run. That play has to be cleaned up in college football. His left foot is right behind the line or close to it. Rules are the rules, and I think this one's going to stand. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown, Auburn. Yeah, his left toe in the air, not even on the ground. Right. Like the plane of the goal line. I mean, he was everything touching the ground was past the line, but his trailing foot in the air is what kept him behind the line. May uh, I suggest, please? I'm glad this was not a game deciding touchdown. Well, it was close to that for Alabama Auburn. A couple yeah, years you're ago. right. Yes, indeed. Daniel Carlson. The extra point is up and good. 103 to go in the third. 38 14. This is a call to the committed. To those who wake up with a desire to do more. To those who won't stop until they reach the finish line. Calling all champions. Advocare. We build champions. Tick. Talk. What was that? Welcome to Rated PG. Beautiful overhead shot of Tiger Stadium in the LSU Athletic Complex. Aero coverage provided by Goodyear. For 60 years, Goodyear has provided aerial coverage of college football's greatest traditions and biggest rivalries. The interesting Auburn has a chance. I was got you know time in this game might not see Fournette anymore if they can't stop LSU with their backups in a tailback Auburn's got problems can they get a stop will Fournette play anymore my guess on the second is no uh, they dodged a bullet with the uh, helmet on the knee on his left knee Carlson will kick off This will go left and thought about it. Did Dante Jackson. Let's go to Adam Zucker in our New York studios for an Advocare update. 
All right, Vern, they're exhaling in Columbus a bit now. One play after Ohio State committed their fourth turnover. The Buckeyes' Darren Lee returns the favor, the defensive MVP of the Sugar Bowl, 41 yards the other way. And after trailing Northern Illinois 10 to 3, the Buckeyes on top 20 to 10 in the fourth. Vern? Well, Leonard Fournette in a relaxed posture right now. Looks like he might uh, be through for the day. Darius Geis is on the field now, number five. Brandon Harris for the day. Eight of 13 for only 40 yards. He's run effectively twice. He flips it out right side. Trayvon Burrell breaks the tackle and has a first down at the 37 yard line. Here's the thing about Fournette. I mean, I don't know if there's a big hurry or something to get him back in the game. I mean, they could also rest him the next two weeks if that's a bruise. See, that's one of the advantages we were talking to the LSU coaches about. That's how college football basically, instead of going running back by committee, they have games that they don't need him as much. So even if he's got a bruised knee, he could go almost three weeks before he has to play again. Here's the sweep to the left. It's Geis. And a modest game. Trey Williams, number 30, was the first guy there. LSU will probably let this go all the way to the fourth quarter and play the clock a little bit. Get it into the fourth quarter. It looks like LSU now, if they play this brand of football, I think they're looking at, at and all their fans are going, you know what? We could go into that Alabama game undefeated. Because the schedule looks like it's possible. End of three with our score 38 14 LSU. We'll return to Baton Rouge right after this message and a word from your local station. This is a call to the committed. To those who wake up with a desire to do more. To those who won't stop until they reach the finish line. Calling all champions. Advocare. We build champions. Northwestern Mutual knows that life calls for a plan. A plan for the I do's and the I did it's. The wishes and the we're expecting. Northwestern Mutual has always been there for you by listening to what matters most in your life, helping you create and follow a financial plan, and encouraging you each day to do the little things that add up over time, turning your biggest goals into your biggest achievements. You and Northwestern Mutual, stronger together. The new comedy Life in Pieces premieres after The Big Bang Theory, CBS This Monday. Ford F-Series keeps the good times rolling. With a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body, Ford F-150 has the highest safety rating any truck can get. And as the best-selling truck for 38 straight years, F-Series has turned toughness into a tradition. Right now, get 0% for 72 months on the 2015 Super Duty. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. For 173 years, The Advocate's been the voice of South Louisiana. Today, the locally owned New Orleans Advocate is the only paper delivered to your door seven days a week. We're investing in New Orleans with a new headquarters, more staff, and more news coverage. Over 600 people working each day, bringing you The Advocate, printed right here in Louisiana. And it'll stay that way. We're The Advocate. I'm John Georges, and we choose Louisiana. Queen Elizabeth once caught beads at Donegal, and she returned to England with what are now known as the Crown Jewels. He spent decades building bridges because there were too many gaps. He is the most ordinary man in New Orleans. I don't always eat snowballs in New Orleans, but when I do, bubble gum. Try <laughs> safely, my friend. Karen Swenson travels to D.C. for the Papal Visit, Tuesday at 10.
We welcome you back to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. LSU leading large 38 14 as we begin the fourth Vern Lundquist Gary Danielson Ali LaForce and the remainder of our crack CBS crew here in Baton Rouge. Here's the toss to Geis and uh, he gets a couple over the right side. I'm just curious about him. obviously Leonard Fournette but what else has impressed you today. I guess the depth of uh, talent they have you know they've reloaded on the defensive line the new style that Ed Orgeron has brought they're more attacking uh, they seem very committed that season last year when they went eight and five I think that kind of ran through this but are, are you going to concentrate on the fourth quarter or what is what I can't is this believe doing you're doing right I can't believe that's not mine. We got to concentrate. You, there, there was a peanut what butter cooking and you took it. I saw it. We've got to finish this thing out. <laughs> Look at this. It's just snack time. What? <laughs> this is not mine. No. It's not mine. <laughs> Me does think you protest too much. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> it, there's possibility. <laughs> Oh, you snuck that one. No, no wonder you no, were but, smiling. Uh, you're legendary. You're, you know, there are, are stories about how your t some of your timing and calling plays is that you have the ability to call the game and eat at the same time. You know, that's a legendary <laughs> that's, thing. That's terrible. First and ten. <laughs> Chomp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No wonder you were grinning yeah, like know, a Cheshire I know, cat. I I, it's, it, listen, big score, you got to have props. <laughs> Nick Brosett is the running back. Now think about this. You've got Fournette. You back him up with Daryl Williams. Then you've got two freshmen, Darius Geis and Nick Brosett. Right on. Brosett is right here from Baton Rouge. Yeah. Welcome. Play action. Left side completed. John Diars, number nine. Diars is one of about six receivers. When you watch them in practice, Vern, they all really look, you know, patterned, good receivers, good speed. Diars uh, is, is one of the, a, a little bit bigger than the other guys in body type, but another great target. And, you know, you see Brandon Harris, just a few throws. His timing and reading on his routes have still got a ways to go. But if the running game can work this way, there won't be a lot of pressure on him to make those big throws under the proper time. Brosette goes left. Gets a block from Rakitian Mouton, number 47. And it'll be a second down. Well, Auburn's got to regroup. They're going to be two and one out of this. Right. And they go back home. They've got Mississippi State at home next week. I think that's a good team for them to get healthy against. You know, with, without a Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, the tailback for Mississippi State, turned pro. And that really, I think, caught Mississippi State and Dak Prescott shorthanded a bit. They really needed him to return. Geis is back on the field. He gets the toss. Runs into, oh my goodness, he doesn't run, doesn't run into anybody. Look at that. My gosh, he's down short of the goal line, but what an effort. The explosive quickness of Geis is so impressive. I mean, this is high level competition, and this guy is compact, quick, strong, great receiver out of the backfield. He's going to be a future star. And Les Miles will just reiterate, said yesterday, his skills are unbelievable. Right. He right now is voting for a change in the rule that Fournette can turn pro after two years. He's going to say, just look how old he looks. He looks like he can play NFL ball. Geist stays in there. Oh, look at this. Stroll in untouched. Brandon Harris touchdown. The game has gone into the 40s. Auburn was attempting to call timeout and they could not get the officials attention probably a little bit about nothing at this point. Almost a busted play on this play and Harris just runs it around the outside and untouched 2010. 
Auburn ran for 440 yards against LSU. This afternoon, after the extra point is up and good, LSU has rushed for 409 yards. It's a good stat. Brandon Harris, untouched. At Outback, steak and unlimited shrimp is back for just $15.99. For a limited time, try unlimited garlic herb butter or crispy shrimp for just $15.99. And let the bold flavours speak for themselves with unlimited shrimp at Outback. Nexium 24-hour. It's the purple pill. The number one prescribed acid-blocking brand available without a prescription for frequent heartburn. Get complete protection. Nexium level protection. Great rates for great rides. And now it's time for our Geico Game Recap. Well, cinch up your seatbelts. This was the first game played from scrimmage. 71 yards as Fournette was tackled by Jones. Just short of the goal line, but Harris rolled out. Cut inside. That made it 7-0 LSU. Colin Jeter caught a one-yard one -yard touchdown pass to make it 14-0. Fournette, and this will be the highlight play of the game, I think. Bulls over Countess in for the score. 40 after the field goal is 24-0. And then J Jeremy Johnson up the middle, 65 yards. Totally unexpected. It got Auburn on the scoreboard, but Fournette had another answer. 29-yard touchdown run, 31-7. At that point, Fournette over the top. He did suffer a bruised left knee on that play, and that's the last we've seen of him. Melvin Ray caught a nine-yard touchdown pass to make it 38-14, and then a moment ago, Brandon Harris strolls in, and we have reached a 45-14 to margin, and the Auburn Tigers are going to lose here again. Their last win in LSU was in 1999. Johnson will bring it out. Does a hurdle. And he gets to the 30 before he's down. Well, our group is going to go to Gainesville next week, and we're all looking forward to this as the Volunteers of Tennessee come in to take on their traditional foes, the Gators of Florida. Next Saturday afternoon, it all begins with the Auto Trader College Football Today show. That starts at 3 o'clock Eastern time. And that's where it all started for us, Ferg, right? Yes. 2006, our first game, Tennessee, Florida. And uh, it's been a while since we've done that game. Yeah. Well, Gary and I are working together for the 10th year, and this a celebration of the 20th season of the SEC on CBS. First down 10. This is Rock Thomas. You know, th this uh, payback this year after... LSU put 566 yards up a year ago, but has more of the feel of the 2010 game. Remember when Cam was at quarterback and Auburn rushed the ball 52 times in that game for 440 yards. Uh, LSU has a chance. They do. Second down here. We've still got 1040. And the clock winding down to go in this game. By the way, the stands are emptying out. They do love their evenings in Baton Rouge, even if it doesn't involve football. Some folks are getting an early start. Time called. Auburn. Time. 10 26 to go in the ballgame. 
45 for Kansas. It's not what you do, it's when and where you do it. And who you do it to or with. If nobody sees it, it didn't happen. The story of Whitey Bulger, rated R. Fire! Fire! Saving for retirement can feel overwhelming to some. At Voya, we believe it doesn't have to. The best plans start with the little things, like making smart choices every day to help save your orange money, one dollar at a time. That's how it starts. How it finishes? We can help you there, too. Start today, be ready tomorrow. Get organized at Voya.com. Hey, babe. Last one on cooks. Another tie. Order in. Next time I drive. The right size Nissan Rogue. Yeah. 45-14 here with 1026 remaining. As we mentioned, this is the 20th anniversary of the collaboration between SEC and CBS. And let's take you back to Gary mentioned this. Cam Newton for 217 yards in this ball game. It was, and this was the breakout game, I think, for Cam Newton's run at obviously the national championship and his Heisman. That signature run right there when he ran away from Patrick Peterson and the whole LSU defense was his signature play of the season. He had many more great ones. I wonder if Leonard Fournette's run today could be his signature run for this season. Right now, would get my vote. So far, oh, that's my early. Goodness. Yeah. It's early. Well, Fournette, for the day, 228 yards. And uh, he's finished for the afternoon. Second down here, 45-14. Johnson fakes the lateral and keeps it. But not for much. That's Arden Key, number 49. Now let's take another look, Gary. Yeah. That, uh, Vern, you said reel. it. This could be the signature run of this game, but could it be the signature run as people remember a player with street speed, strength, ability to dodge? I mean, that one and the one where he ran over counties, yeah. those two were incredible. Well, he shook two tackles on that one. That was a 29 yard run. And it's third down here with uh, four yards to go. Kendall Beckwith in the middle. Johnson. That, that's what is going to have to be part of the offense. I think Gus started out the season as we look at fourth down thinking you know, with not of a lot of experience in behind Johnson, Sean White, just a freshman, I'm going to have to watch how much I run Jeremy Johnson. He's not a natural runner, but I think he's going to have to be. I think he's going to have to run that power inside. They need the 11th player in their rush offense. Fourth and one. That's Sean White, the redshirt freshman quarterback from Boca Raton, Florida. On fourth down from the 40. Three down for LSU. Left side, they've got the first down plus. It's Johnson who moves the first down chain. Johnson. Yeah, I remember when we, and like Gus said to Allie, we, we've got to find some running help for our defense. Uh, Will Muschamp might be the, the greatest coach of all time, but if you don't have an offense that can help it out, it isn't going to matter. So Jeremy Johnson's going to have to be the 11th runner in their run offense and just take the hits. That's all. There's, there's nothing else that will spring this offense. They've got nothing else. First down, 10. Then the passing game will come off of that. Gotcha. 
This is Carry on Johnson. 21. Carry on Johnson. I'll tell you what, if you're in the far stands with that sun in your eyes, yeah. hanging in with a score like this, sitting in that sun watching this game, you are an LSU fan. That's right. Well, at least the uh, Auburn bench has been enveloped in shadows now. Yeah, I mean, this side and the shadow side is yeah. nice, but the sun side over there is brutal. Left side, Rock Thomas. Ricky Jefferson makes the tackle on the clock at 739. <laughs> 7.30 <laughs> to go. And it's third and four. Late subs. The burn does Duke Williams have a touch in this game? I don't believe he does. He had one pass thrown to him, maybe two thrown to him. One was intercepted. I think he's maybe targeted twice. He's got two targets. Does he have any stats? None. Right. Down low, Rock Thomas makes the grab. He's got help going down the sideline and the help of Avery Young, number 56. No, you're right. I mean, no. all American receiver. Now, remember, he was paired with Sammy Coates a year ago, but right now, no way to get him the ball either. There's Duke Williams. He's been thrown to twice for the season. He has five catches in what will be three complete games. He's at the top of the screen. Corner blitz. They go right. Rock Thomas Alley. Thank you, Vern Gary. I heard you mention that there's a hot side and there's a side in the shade. Well, I've been hanging out on the side in the shade that happens to be LSU's sideline. They picked it strategically. That way, when the sun the sun started to shift, they could be in the shade for most of the game. And the heat really hasn't been an issue since the start of the second half. The players are turning down offers from the managers to take some water. They're not really wearing the ice towels and. Les Miles even kept his jacket on. I asked him at halftime if he'd take it off. He said, no, I like to be consistent. <laughs> Johnson, there's Duke Williams. Yeah, that's going to be way too little, way too late. Yeah, but it's it's off the running quarterback type play. I think there's going to be a personal foul on this play and tacked on to the end of it. But you're right, Deion Jones got a late here hit here, but Duke Williams is, has to be more a part of this offense. I think Deion Jones 45 was the late hit. Personal foul. Targeting a defensive oh player. Boy. 45 defense. The previous play is under further review. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we know almost anything close. He's going to be out. Here he is. Johnson coming out of it. Throws it. One, two. Oh, he's out. He's going to miss the next game. Yes. He launched at him, helmet to helmet. Now, it's not as big a crisis for LSU because of who they're playing, but it's still a silly play. It's a veteran who should know better. Yep. Yeah. He knows. And you know, around here, you don't like to give anybody your spot because a guy like Donnie Alexander or Duke Riley may get in there. You may not get back on the field even when you're ready to come back. That one seems very clear cut. Next game at. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number 45 is disqualified for targeting. It's half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. You know, last game we had, we had a six foot six Lorenzo Carter. Was that who it was? All yes, right. it was. He hit a six foot four quarterback, and we speculated, but he was thrown out. This time, the quarterback six foot five 
And the linebackers listed six foot one. There's no excuse for this one. And so Jones was escorted as he headed to the locker room by Jamal Adams. And now picks up the trot. He will miss Syracuse. Johnson on first down. Got a man wide open. Touchdown. That is Duke Williams. They have matched up against Dante Jackson, a true freshman that time. Dante, only 167 pounds, a young player learning how to play the corner position. Remember, this is a team that lost Jalen Collins, a player that they thought they would get back to the NFL, drafted by the Atlanta Falcons, but this time Duke showed the potential he has. Daniel Carlson for the extra point. Perfect in his career, as you can see. And he remains that way with his 67th consecutive. Let's look at this from the Vern, Vern. Let's look at this from the Auburn side. Did they establish anything in the second half? Let's talk about that when we come back. Stop copying me. Half lemonade, half ice cream. Frosted lemonade, starting at 240 calories. Your daughter's gonna love this car. She sure is. Discover the high performance Optima. It's a turbo. Discover the new Kia. Lease the Optima LX for $189 a month or get $2,000 customer cash. Look at you. Oh, look at him. One look can change the way you see the world. Look at you. Look after them with the protection of life insurance from New York Life. Get started today. When you move, Degree Motion Sense reacts. With unique microcapsules activated by movement to release bursts of freshness all day. Motion Sense, protection to keep you moving. Degree, it won't let you down. Weddings! Breakups! You're probably wondering why Amy and I aren't showing any affection to one another. Didn't even crack the top ten. It's the Big Bang season premiere Monday! We're back 45-21 LSU. They lost linebacker Jones, number 45, for targeting. And just to clarify, he will be suspended for the first half right. of the game at Syracuse. Is that Fournette back to return the kick? Well, a year ago, he had a 100-yarder against Notre Dame. This, uh, I'm stunned. I am stunned. Hey. This is a decoy, certainly. Yes. Right. Yes. I don't, I don't know. Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe they feel he. Maybe he's on the hands team. There you they go. Thinking it's a onside kick, and he's going to fair catch it. I'd still leave him on the bench. <laughs> I just mentioned that he did have one of 100 yards in his freshman year. Daniel Carlson will kick off. Williams joins Fournette deep. And they do kick it deep. Let it go. Forty-five twenty-one. Okay, running through the SEC. Look at these three outstanding backs. 
Yeah, let's uh, uh, adjust this one over here. Okay. Did I get the eight in there? I did. Yeah, right? you did. 228, okay. okay. They, uh, yeah, those are three elite running backs, and uh, Fournette uh, doesn't have to take a backseat to anybody, does he? I'll tell you what, I'd put Anthony Jennings in if I was uh, coaching this team right now. I would want my backup quarterback, you know, Anthony's been a starter here before. I would want him getting some meaningful, meaningful snaps in a football game. It's a long season. If Brandon Harris gets nicked to win a championship, you may, may need both of them. Here's the handoff to Brosset. He gets a fine one line scrimmage and comes right. Jonathan Ford made the tackle. Brandon Harris for the day, 11 of 16 for 75 yards. He's also carried eight times for 66, two touchdowns. He's had a very effective day, Brandon Harris. Yeah. You know, uh, Coach Cameron was kind of kidding him. He was a uh, yeah, little bit complaining about not enough throws. And he goes, what are you talking about? You had 14, Marcus Mariota had 16. Mariota got NFL Player of the Week with 16 throws. You can do it. Quit oh, complaining. Oh, I'll start. Five yard penalty. Second down. And it'll be a second down. Brandon Harris, his first start of his career was at Auburn last year, three of 14 and a 41 7 defeat. And then, of course, he started last week at Mississippi State. A reminder that uh, this is only the second game of the year for LSU. Their opening game here against McNeese State. They tried to play it. It was canceled after a four hour thunderstorm lightning delay. And will not be in this game. Rosette again. Burr, what do you think of this guy? Does he remind you of anybody? Anybody you saw says Sunday night? <laughs> Could he play in the NFL? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. Uh, he showed everything, speed, power. I can tell you this, too, watching him practice. I mean, maneuverability, uh, smartness, a lot of determination. But you know what? I got to tell you this, he's got great hands, and he can throw the ball, too. That's right. Four to go. Harris caught by Nick Brosset out to the 26 yard line. On first down, Devereaux Lawrence. Second down, made the tackle. Well, we talked about what Auburn may have found in the second half, considering where they're going. Remember, they lost the game early to LSU uh, in, in 2013 and found it later in the season. Um, what did they find in the second half? I think that they have to use their quarterback in all areas, move the pocket around, and include him in the running game. Introducing our 2015 NFL lineup. Get your favorite team's Bud Light can for game day. At DraftKings, we play for glory. And for this, the giant check. The giant check is no myth. It's our trophy and many hoisted playing our one week games like Dave Gomes and Adam Goulet. Are your dreams big enough to cash a giant check? Play free in our big event this Sunday. A new fantasy millionaire every week this season. Get to DraftKings.com now and play free with promo code IMPACT. Welcome to the big time. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. Get a designer look for less. Right now, hand-scraped Saratoga Hickory Laminate is just 99 cents per square foot. At the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. The players cheerleaders, the hootin' and hollering, foot stomping, bands rocking. Every team has a tradition that inspires superior performance, and for the last 60 years, we're proud to be the one they all have in common. The Home Depot SEC on CBS is sponsored by Black Mass from Warner Brothers Pictures. 
Nissan. Bud Light. And by Chick-fil-A. 45-21 LSU in command. 3.43 to go. Monday on CBS, the geniuses from last season's hit drama are back. Don't miss the season premiere of Scorpion. Monday at 9, 8 Central, only CBS. Jamie Keene with the punt. And it's taken at the 30-yard line by Marcus Davis. Tackled at the 45-yard line. Take a look at the uh, LSU, uh, the Auburn schedule. Yeah, coming up Mississippi State, and then a couple of weeks off. The question you have now with a 24-point game, do you need more reps for Jeremy Johnson as he tries to kind of change this offense or do you try to get another quarterback ready? They're going to go with Jeremy Johnson. You can make an argument either way. You know, they're not going to win the football game, but as they does, Johnson need more reps to kind of break out enough so that they have some offensive hope going into the Mississippi State game. First down 10, and he will open up with that first down play from the 44. Right side, Rock Thomas getting a lot of activity today. Well, how do you spend uh, a Friday in Baton Rouge? Allie went uh, on this little boat, went for a tour of a local lake. And what'd you find, Allie? I found me a gator. <laughs> I, I believe that's how you say it. I found me a gator. Well, I, you know, spending so much time down here in the South, I had to get myself a pair of cowboy boots to fit in. So I, I thought I'd earn those boots. Earn some alligator boots. What do you I, think? I can't wait to see them. And that's an <laughs> indirect promo for next week when we see the Gators, the other Gators. On the offense. In Florida. Five-yard penalty. Second down. A Allie, I, I don't want to say you're uh, young. We all know that. But you're, you know, on a boat texting. That is not allowed. Taking pictures is different from texting. That's texting. No, no, no. And this That's one, texting. You were either taking a selfie or you were texting. The, the key is I was not driving the boat texting. I was sitting as a passenger. Under three to go. Johnson. Tackled by Devon Gutshaw. It looked like fun, though, um, out there. More fun than playing quarterback today for Auburn, basically, huh? Well, Gus Malzahn and Will Muschamp are going to have to use all their abilities to get this team refocused and alive back in this SEC. They've got about, you know, Mississippi State next week and then a couple weeks to rebuild the team. And then a very improved Kentucky team that gets uh, Florida tonight. South Carolina, Georgia playing this evening, and then, of course, Ole Miss into Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama. 2.03 to go. And Kevin Phillips is on to punt. Davius White is the deep man for Kevin Phillips. This one's short. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. I saw Tredavious Wright he running. He was, yes, he faked me out. He, he was getting so far away right. from the ball. He was trying to dig the Auburn cover, guys, and he got you. Yeah, he got me. Well, what did you learn about the defense today? Well, you remember those uh, defensive tackles and the attacking? Remember after that sack by Frank Heron? And I said Ed Orgeron was going to kiss him? Well, he might not have. At least we didn't catch it. But some of his teammates did. Look at this. They were, they were saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now, that's how you celebrate. <laughs> and we're going to go to the lonely Kevin Tolliver. I'll tell you that. Remember him, the freshman corner in an SEC game. We only seen him twice. Once doing nothing, 
Second time doing nothing. <laughs> Two best highlights you can have if you're a corner. That's right. Darius Geis with the carry on this one, 144 to go. You gotta be pretty good, and your defense has to be pretty good. Where you're a freshman corner in the SEC and no one can attack you the whole game. I don't even know if they went at him, did they? I don't even remember a throw in his direction. Incredible. He's a big talent. He committed to LSU in his sophomore year of high school and never wavered. Stayed right. with it the whole way. Second down and nine. Auburn obviously has chosen to put a period to this thing. And we've got less than uh, a minute to go. Next up for LSU at Syracuse, then back home. Next up for Auburn. They'll try to lick their wounds and head back to host Mississippi State in Auburn next week. This one's in the books. 45-21. Jeremy Johnson with a shaky first half. May have learned a little bit about himself in the second half. Or at least the coaching staff did. Yeah. LSU rushed for a modest 411 yards. And Fournette had 228 of those. Handshake, middle of the field. Tiger coach and Tiger coach. And it's time now for the Napa play of the game presented by Napa Auto Parts. It occurred in the first half with number seven getting a block from John Bacon Nora. And watch this as he surges through Blake Countess in for the touchdown. That was a 40 yarder. Here's another look at the same play. The Napa Auto Parts play of the game. Let's go down to Allie, who is with Les Miles. Coach, what a dominant win. You beat Auburn for the eighth consecutive time here at home, and you rode it on. You did it on the back of Leonard Fournette, who rushed for 228 yards. You said yeah. he was special, but how yeah, special? Yeah, the, uh, the, this, is a, this is a quality group of young men. They're really committed to one another. And, you know, Leonard Fournette, you know, what a, I mean, you know, all of the accolades and all of the descriptions that you can make of the guy, I mean, he's very, very special. You said Brandon has great potential, that he'll only improve from game to game. What improvements did you see from him today? Again, he, he, he managed the game. He made the throws that, that he needed to make. Certainly he wasn't perfect, but you know what? I don't know anybody that is. Um, made some plays with his feet. I mean, we're, we're starting to look like the offense we're capable of being. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you very much. That's a little scary, Gary. LSU will be favored to win every game coming all the way up to the Alabama game. A lot of people pick them as their sleeper in this conference. You know what? They're no longer a sleeper. No, this is a pretty good wake-up call delivered throughout the uh, SEC. Tonight on CBS, NCIS New Orleans, and you saw the rest of it. Next weekend, our group will be in Gainesville for Tennessee at Florida. Our final score... 45-21. For Gary Danielson, Allie LaForce, Vern Lundquist saying so long from Baton Rouge. The Dodge postgame show is up next after these messages and a word from your local station.